And we are live! Hello everyone who just came off of the Team 4 Star Helsing Ultimate Abridge livestream. <laughs> hey everyone! Yo yo! It is Saturday night, it is a top the fourth wall play as Pokemon White randomized Nuzlocke. Joining us this evening is, as always, Julie Sador, who plays Aaron. Hey guys. And of course, we have, we, we finally, once again, they've been gone for a while now, uh, we have Dom and Kaluna back again. Making yeah. our triumphant return. Hello. <laughs> Hopefully triumphant, because we are finally going to answer the question here, is it Dom's fault that people keep <laughs> dying? Right. Sorry. So if no one dies during the stream, we'll know it is indeed his fault, and you need to be here every single stream. Yeah. You, mean, you know that means I'm going to be rooting for someone to die, right? <laughs> Fair enough, but yes, if someone dies, we'll know it's not your fault. So I don't think he has is it there in him, left? though. I, there's a lot of people baying for my blood in the chat, Lewis. Thanks for this. Is there I... anyone left from the party that we remember? Yes, I think that there, there should be. I mean, we won't, I mean, the last few streams, I mean, we, we, we got close both times. It's really, really close to not losing anybody. Like, it was just right at the very end, both times, where we lost somebody. Uh, two weeks ago, we lost our poor E11. Uh, uh, to to a Registeel with with Metal Sound the same uh, or Metal Burst the same metal move burst. that killed Tor Tank, and right. then last week we lost Metal Gear who you weren't around when we got him uh, he was recovered from a fossil uh, and oh, he was was that a uh, Omnite Kling Clang. So yeah, it's still the holidays. I, I I set up the lights in the background to, to, to go, even though my head covers them up most of the time. I need to adjust them over. They're kind of like off-centered. Anyway, are we ready to just go right in here? You haven't missed much. We we got a lot of new friends while you were gone. Okay. Oh, yes. We, we even have enough to assemble a B team. Yes. Oh, good. I don't think Probably we, we, we haven't told you about this. Okay, so we're going to introduce you. To, we're going to switch over to we'll Pokemon them. Gameplay and show this off to you. Yes. So, while you were gone, we realized, you know, what happens if we wipe? Mm -hmm. You know, we yeah. have enough team members now that we'd be okay if we wiped, but we want to have a team ready to just, like, like to gain us revenge. So allow yes. me to introduce you to the Revengers. The Revengers. We have Shuppet, who's called Revenger. I ha in my party, I'm raising it up so we can evolve it. We have Cascoon named Vendetta. Wow. Mm -hmm. We have a Garbodor. We have hey. a Garbodor. Whose name is Toxie, the Toxic Avenger. Yes. We have Crocorod Bandit Teeth, who actually was very useful to us in the Steel Gym. Okay. We have Grim Hands, our Scyther. Grim Hands. Every Avenge team needs a knife guy. And you know, finally, I we have Soleil the Soul Rock. I can't remember if you met him or not. No. No, he's, he would be a new one. Yeah, otherwise, here's all the retired people. This was yeah. our glorious Metal Gear. Metal Gear. I learned to love him. Poor E11. Yeah, E11, our all-around bruiser. Now, here's the good news. We could actually get them back again uh, if we get one of their pre-evolved forms, like, in the grass somewhere. Because these are, like, their final oh. forms right here. I can only hope. Otherwise, uh, yep, yeah, we still got Dwayne and Vorpal for our Lopany, uh, Brent the Mime Jr., Nefertiti the Cough Egregious, Snauza, mm -hmm. and Brute. Okay. Brute. And of course, Booster Green's just in here while we level up uh, uh, Vendetta. So let's, evo been... let's evolve Vendetta real quick, just so we just so we don't have to worry about doing it later. Exactly. And Takayaki um, still remains most awesome. Oh, well, yeah. And and as I remember it... Oh, yeah, yeah. Takayaki killed a god. Oh, yeah. Takayaki yeah. killed Arceus. Yes. You killed god. Yep. Technically god multiple times. Dead. Arceus was actually a in the god. grass in the desert resort. I say the grass, the desert part. Pokemon is polytheistic, so a god. Samurai god was Tiger 19. Out in the desert. Hey, Are Lewis, following sure? up on my question from last week, Dr. Yeah, Forrester, Pearl Forrester, or King of Forrester? Ooh. Uh, Pearl Forrester for me. Okay. I like Pearl. I like, I like King a lot, but uh, nostalgia, I'm going to say Dr. Forrester. We did watch one episode of the new MST3K. I liked it. Yeah, I was just watching some of it earlier. It's, I, I'm enjoying it. I still haven't watched season 12. 
Or is it 11 now? I can't remember now. Is it 12? I believe 11? it's 11, right? Hmm. Okay, 11. Yeah. It's a gauntlet. I haven't watched any of the gauntlets. The yeah, Jet is I evolving. Dun, 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 dun. Do it. It's going to get a new ability, oh. too. We should check that out in a second. Boy, they get torn apart and reconstructed in evolution in this game. That's mm. disturbing. But guess what? But guess what? Um, that kind of is what happens to bugs in real life when they metamorphose. Like, they're taken apart molecularly and put back together again, so it fits. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool and insane. And then, But they did experiments, and they still remember certain stimuli after they've metamorphosed. That just sounds... Just it's scary, actually. <laughs> that, wow, that's a useless ability. <laughs> oh, minus? Oh, come on. It's plus, or, it's plus one and minus ability. <laughs> Wow, some of these feel like filler abilities, to be honest. They were made. They were made for very specific Pokemon, and and of course, it's for a gimmick that that's really kind of you know it's it's an, a kind of an outdated thing because most people don't use like double and triple battles for the majority of fights. Yeah. But you know what? Uh, she's still part of the Revengers because her Pokedex ex. Uh, uh, her Pokedex basically was was something along the lines of she remembers uh 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 yo oh yo vendettas and and revenges it needs to have in the next yo yo after it after it evolves so it gets its revenge. And see, okay. and mm. as as I remember that Pokedex entry and then something else was kind of like the stimulus for we were like we need a team of revengers. Yeah, like they <laughs> all need to be together, like an A team but negative. Yeah. <laughs> Jess is in the chat. If she wants to join us, she can just let me know on Skype. Mm -hmm. hey, we already got Pokemon in this route. Yes. We also got Fly, so we can go back to certain places if we want to check up on oh, uh, uh, in the daycare or anything like that. That's right. right. I need to... Takiyaki still up front? So how are things going with Team Neptune over the, the, Team the Plasma Pokemon Team Plasma and, and the gym leader... By the way, this is... Uh, uh, our Mag Cargo Saint Helen, who's also now part of the team, I have leveled her up. Uh, going back to what I mentioned earlier, um, I am going to do a Google search right now for pictures of Scyther licking blood off of its sides. Like a well, why, would you, why would you do that? Because I want to see it. <laughs> Come on, Scyther. Wouldn't they get mad because it's red? No, there's a regular weird like anime dude doing it, but no Scyther. Aww. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of want to draw this now. Anyway. Please don't. <laughs> Jess okay, is going to grab her headphones and join in in a second here. Sounds good. Scythe Scy is an innocent little Pokemon. Don't make him lick the blood of his departed enemy. <laughs> it's got size for hands. It's got yeah. size That's hands. racist. <laughs> <laughs> pokemon it is. You just assume. Yeah. He's I, a I really guess good so. gardener, I mean, you guys. That's what I would be like if I had knives for hands, and God willing, someday I will. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just delighted by Pokemon with hands for knives. I also enjoy Kabutops quite a bit. I mean, that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> and Jess is now with us. Hey, Jess. Hey, Jess. Hey. How you doing? Yes, thank you, Jess. It is one of my more positive traits. The yeah, grass is mocking it. us. Hand knives. Anyway, yes. Welcome to to. By the way, game. by the way, kitten update. She is a snooze. She is a very cute kitten. Is she finally sleep? Uh, finally uh, feeling better? Uh, sort of. She's fighting it off still. She's been coughing a lot less though, so I guess good. But there's, a... there's really nothing I can do because if I go to the vet, they're just gonna give me a cough suppressant for her, and I'm like. Okay, but that's not really going to help her in any way other than what I'm already doing, so whatever. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I just don't want, just don't want uh, uh, her to, like, you know, be in any more pain or anything like that, or be mm -hmm. miserable. Um, she's been, she's been pretty okay for the most part. Um, there was one point in time where she, like, came over to me at one day, one day and just started yelling at me, going, Mom, I'm in pain, and I'm like, okay, cat, I don't know what to do for you, because... The vet told me exactly what I need to do, and I did it, and I can't do anything else for you. You gotta fight this on your own. Like, mm. I don't have any other tools. This kind of sucks, because your immunity is low, because you haven't gotten your shots yet. Because she's only 10 weeks. 
back, so she can't really get any shots yet. Could have sworn there was a uh, item hidden somewhere here. No. We're just on our way to a cave to charge stone cave now. But yeah, Team Plasma, uh, the gym leader held them in uh, uh, you know in jail or whatever equivalent. But then gets this, and the rest of Team Plasma showed up and said like, "No, you got to give us give them back." And we're like, "Okay." You being attacked by Common San Diego. That's... That's I a mean, ranger I would love to be attacked by Common San Diego. Just going by the hat mostly. Okay, clay dolls. I'm trying to decide whether or not we should swap out Takayaki because it's actually like ground uh, uh, psychic, mm -hmm. which is not great for our for our poison typing. But we are a tank, and we are like six levels ahead of it. Fair enough. I think I don't know. Do we risk it? I mean, like, who else we, we can. Send, out, honestly? send someone rain, else out. I am so scared for our friends. Let's have a perfect run. Let's try to at least, Dom. Yes, Dom. Oh, good! Like no, that's earthquake. That's forever. great. Oh, wait. So, Dom, yeah. I hear every time you're not on the chat, you basically lose Pokemon. Like, how dare you? Yeah, no, yeah. I take full responsibility. As well, you mm -hmm. should. Yeah. And I mean, I, 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 I think we've been going at this, like, blaming Dom, you know, for not being, as, like, a crime of negligence. But I think we also need to focus on whatever power he was born with that makes Pokemon die. <laughs> or what he does he? to protect Pokemon. Yeah, that's yeah. Kind of in oh. a positive light. I get, well, okay, fine. Yeah, but well, well, I mean, we'll see, see, won't we? Aren't these people, like, incredibly depressing, though? Like... Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I don't know, like, most, well, no, it's really, it's really weird, because, like, when I was living in Britain, like, a lot of my roommates, in, like, my flatmates, we're like super depressing all the time, and that's like always what I thought until I met you, and I was like, "Wow, you're like the first British person I know that's not like super depressing all the time." So good for you. But yeah, most of my flatmates Thanks. were super depressing. It was sad. <laughs> Arrow X. So who died? No one yet. Metal Gear died last week. Yeah. Uh, I'm here to protect them this time. It's mm -hmm. all good. This time. This time. Uh. Yeah, Rangers hand out berries after you beat them. Oh. Hadn't, hadn't you met Filmbrain before me? Yeah, but like the only. Well, we're learning a lot about Filmbrain now. Aren't we? <laughs> well, well, the thing about Filmbrain is he and I drove to Magfest from uh, the airport in Virginia uh, to Magfest. It's supposed to be a 30 minute drive. We were in the car for two and a half hours. So what you're saying is you killed him and ate him. Terrible. And then I shared a room with him and Nash and Rap Critic and myself. Because this was when I was dating the Rap Critic. And, like, let me tell you, I have never experienced a dude with as long hair as Nash. And that his, hair's <laughs> his hair is luscious. It's very luscious. But, like... It was super weird because, like, I at, up until that point, I had never been in a room with a dude who had longer hair than mine before. Well, the effects of weather disappeared. So okay. it was super weird for me, anyway. I it doesn't seem like it's a big deal. People could have long hair. I don't know, but all right. Uh, it, long story short, it sounded hair, like it was I a had positive long hair thing. at the time, and now I have short hair. And it's just, now I'm like, uh. Whatever. So, so, I, so long story short, so the reason you think that all British people are depressing is because Nash has long hair and Film Brain was in a car for a while. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. when you put it like it that, yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, th th this, this trail is just reminding us of all the people we've lost. <laughs> there was a squirrel, the there was a metal, uh, there, there was a cling clang. They've come back from the dead to make you feel guilty. Mm. No, if you catch dumb, Meganium, okay. are you naming it Mr. Steak? The, so it was a female, maybe. Pirate, and I'm kind of wondering this myself, Wonderland Pirate. Isn't Dom just Film Brain's future regeneration? I'm not sure. I really think oh, that, like, Dom we are really bringing out the racism Lord. in this chat. <laughs> We're all British people, Time Lord. Oh, we're all, we're all yeah. basically the same person, just at different points in our regeneration cycle. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I've been accused of that. 
<laughs> you'd be I'd able to afford that apartment in California. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what you're saying is, Film Brain has to die so that I can live someday. <laughs> God, that's ter- that's terrifying. I actually, uh, But I actually like you and Matt, so neither of you should die. <laughs> that's good. I don't think so, anyone should die. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with those. So I'm the Jody uh-huh. Whittaker to his Peter Capaldi. I'm gonna not, you know, root for I always thought any of them if I were a doctor, like, I'd either be... I'd probably be eight. I'd be the one that, like, occasionally appears in, like, weird crap that everybody knows about. But for the most part, I pretty much remain behind the scenes and don't really talk to anybody outside of the audio dramas. <laughs> Sir Toby okay. Freak, shout out to Team Four Star for the Helsing finale. Yep, yep. It was a wonderful... Oh, good. No, 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 never mind. I thought I keep more. I, th- I thought it was a different Pokemon. No, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Congrats to them. Uh, it was a fantastic finale. I absolutely loved it. Is that a fiery anteater with a weird penis? Yep. Uh, yes. Uh, it's hard to not see that. I didn't even see the penis <laughs> until you brought it up. Well, I now mean, you can't unsee it. You're welcome. My at first, God, I was like, dog. "Oh, it's just some armor. It's just some weird armor." And then it just like slowly was like, "No." No, not this no, time. It's an down it, is a, it is indeed a fiery anteater, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. Fiery, yeah. So, this is why I play with no, no. 150, that's stupid. <laughs> Soak turns the opponent's Pokemon into a water type, which has some strategic benefits, but nah. And we're still on the same route, unfortunately, so still no new friends yet. Although, I think we're coming up on uh, the Pokemon that disguises itself as a Pokeball, so we can get a new friend there. Because you people voted Voltorb? and said that, uh, uh, that that counts as a new, as a different encounter. Is yeah, it there's Voltorb? only so many. That Pokemon disguises itself as a Pokeball hmm. all the time. It's probably... Jigglypuff from above. Oh boy, this guy wants us to catch a deerling. But it could be anything else now. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to catch a deerling. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there's a Pokeball over here. I can never remember what half of these things are. Let's see if it's uh, something we can. that's useful to us. Lane number. our EA number. Uh, here's hoping the top of this episode will be the one where everyone lives, or if you prefer, the doctor dances. Aww. <laughs> that would be a good episode title. <laughs> and Elixir, that'll come in handy later. Mm-hmm. Especially since we keep having moves that are only five power points. Hmm. It's a... Joshua so Hartman, just... are you caught up on Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps? If so, what are your thoughts on Somar Lay, the child from Tamar Ray's species who became the youngest GL? Uh, I am not caught up, sorry. I've started getting caught up again. I'm caught up on Squirrel Girl and getting caught up on Miss Marvel. I'm caught up on Exiles. Uh, most DC stuff I'm not caught up on. I caught up on uh, Doomsday Clock, finally. Oh, how is that? It's still completely disconnected from everything else going on in the universe. <laughs> it's good. I, I will. I will tell you that it's not. It's not terrible. Uh, so far, it is okay. I'm not sure what the wh- wh- where the end game is going with this, but very clearly, uh, DC doesn't care about rebirth related stuff anymore. Doesn't care about their big twist that they had set up with everything. So, who knows what's going to happen now? Mm. It's only a Magnemite. I think we'll be fine. Hmm. I think one Aura Spear should take it out. Oh my god, I have so many there feels. Oh yeah, um... So many feels on the end game trailer. <laughs> <laughs> on the what trailer? Avengers on the Avengers trailer. AKA yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't hear you. Bad, bad title. Okay, I think I know that uh, one of these. Oh, here we go. New friend. New friend. friend. Oh. Why were they fighting that <laughs> oh. so long? It's the Pokemon it's supposed to be. Oh. oh my God. Shroomish. Uh, uh, fungus. 
Ooh, yes. yes. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's still another friend, and it's grass poison, so we'll have that added, added waiting in the wings, I guess. But, like, yeah. I was not expecting that. Crap, I was going to go grab some uh, uh, some quick balls, and I forgot to. Hmm. Oh, well. Just try a oh, dust yeah. ball, see what happens. Arrow X is wondering, so what do you think about Joker in Smash? Um, the Persona yeah. 5 character. I've never played Persona. Okay. I was, I, I, we were at the Game Awards when that got announced, and I was very happy. Yeah, the crowd was going, <laughs> so, it was like someone just scored a question? touchdown, and everyone was like jumping out their seats and shit. Kaluna, can I ask you guys a question? Are you, did you guys, when the uh, Ultimate Alliance trailer dropped, did you, like, did, like, the whole room erupt? Because I only saw the trailer, I didn't see the actual Game Awards. Ultimate Alliance. Oh, um, yeah, the guy next to us was really fucking obnoxious and kept talking during the entire thing, and he was, like, pretty much... Saying what everything was, and that was that was the Marvel one. Uh, with remember, there was all the Wolverine oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, no, the reaction to that was okay. Um, Mixed. Mor Mortal Kombat and uh, Joker being in Smash got like the two biggest reactions of the night. Mm. And Sonic Fox. Oh, yeah, and Sonic, Sonic Fox wouldn't got a good cheer. And like, you know, game of the year, obviously, everyone, everyone was like standing ovation for that. But yeah, all yeah. the just like, yeah, everyone's, everyone's reasonably excited. Yeah. All right, a few things. Michael Knoll, watching this in the middle of a snowstorm. Thanks, Linkar, for hosting this every week. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, sir. Stay warm and stay safe. Yeah. Uh, and definitely. we have a female fungus. What are we naming it? <laughs> Toadette, apparently. <laughs> Ellie! Why uh, Ellie? Because of, uh, of Last of Us? Ah, I've oh, never wait, played wait, Last wait. of Us. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, and, and, and. Troller Trip. Psychedelia. Toadette. Neosporin. Neosporin? You know what? I like Neosporin. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. All right. But unfortunately, yeah, we, we now were, can't... Um... That's the only one for this route we can get, because that's what we decided. Only one uh, special wait, wait, encounter wait, like wait, this wait, per wait, route. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Um, so, I have a question for everybody in the chat um how do you reheat noodles without a microwave do you have a stove top i do I you do. have to make like matt damon and science the shit out of it okay yeah. uh you t you put a little bit of water and then maybe butter or oil depending on what you're making one of those and then... mm. it depends on what you're making what are you making uh we're heat uh i guess uh, my girlfriend's reheating leftovers from noodles that we had today while we went thrift shopping. But yeah. what kind of noodles? That will, I mean... Uh, oh, it was, good! Uh, it was, no! Like, Your like, it, like, Ghost Dragon! Know. Yay! Is that, is that bad? Uh, crap, no, that sucks. Alright, I'm sending Fortina. out retweet because at least it'll be, it'll, uh, uh, be immune to ghost-type moves. Okay. <laughs> I just asked you what kind of noodles they are and she goes noodles i'm like great right. i meant are they like um are they covered in a sauce or are they like like butter noodles they're like they're like they got some stuff on it guys lewis is fighting satan can we <laughs> fighting satan alfredo talk about noodles later oh okay then yeah just just put it in a stove pot Space uh, put it over, put it over the the uh like just heating it up in like a in a pan or, or a, a pot <laughs> you'll be fine Gotcha. Okay, if if if, if we tweet dies, it's not my fault. It's the noodles. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's definitely fair. I'll take the blame yeah. for this one, guys. It's okay, fine. so we need to think about this for a second. Spatial Wait. random pretty sure is a dragon move. Uh huh. I believe so. Yes. Retweet can probably kill it with it with its next hit. The problem is fly sometimes misses. Right. Oh boy. Mm hmm. And it's got so, the hail too, which is not helping. Is anyone, anyone else in, like, got any sort of advantages that we could use? Not really. It's a ghost dragon type. We have no ice moves and no dragon moves. Well, is there someone neutral who's at least got full health? Well, what about Takoyaki? Takoyaki is probably is our is is another tank. Could work, but I'm wor but <laughs> Dragons can move. Can learn so much. Yeah. Arrow X, X talking, talking about, about noodles about while noodles. fighting Satan. I mean, how else would you fight Satan? Come on now. We could switch yeah, Takiyaki. Remember. I mean, it is eight levels ahead. That is that is helpful. I, I man, yeah, I mean, you guys Green were, were in the elite four when you faced off against this guy. At and it's got full health. Problem I, is, I think... Booster Green can't hit it. 
Yeah, it, it can't hit it because all its moves Although, are normal. Although, Booster mm. Green could wait it out. It's well, true. What would our strat and strategy be? Uh, the thing is, we're still getting hail, hail? So, it'll, so it'll slowly kill it. Only problem is, Booster Green also is vulnerable to ghost-type moves. Um, What about St. Helen? St. Helen could work, but I'm worried about it learning, having like a water move or something, because it's... And, and I don't know, and, and I don't know, I just... It, it's it's not a special def it doesn't have great special defense. Okay. I mean it's okay special defense compared to some others I think. I um. Yeah, El Doom would be bad. Um. I mean this is just one one encounter like we're not fighting any more Pokemon in this thing, are we? We could. I, you know what? I'm gonna switch over to Takayaki. We'll see how much spatial Ren does. Yeah, I think he'll be. Come on, Takoyaki. Come on, hentai monster. Come on, God Slayer. Yes! Yes! I am going to heal, though, just in case I crit or something. Of Probably course. a good idea, yeah. Isn't his next move just going to bring you back down again? Uh, no, because it had already taken damage, so... Uh. Draco Meteor, that's the most powerful dragon-type move. But oh, it's going goody. to lower its special defense, and we're still a tank. Yeah. Or low Sweet. special attack, I should say. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna heal again, but it's, but it means Draco Meteor is not gonna do as much damage unless it crits. Okay. Yeah, no, we we should be good. Dragon Rush, yeah. which I think switches us out, which sucks. Oh, it didn't switch us out. Yeah. Just Unfortunately, they're doing a lot more damage than I was expecting, though. I like, am still gonna keep God, just like I'm just gonna we're we're stuck in a loop now, and I'm just gonna stay in the loop. Yeah, we've got healing items. You're playing it really safe. It We're just scared. That and that's a crit, so so it does a lot, but we survive. And we can just wait this out and let the hail take it out. Yeah. As long as we have infinite potions. We have enough. It, it, they're not gonna. It, it's a regular ass trainer. It's not gonna heal it. I'm thinking of oh, Dragon Tail. Dragon Rush is a is a hundred physical move with seventy five percent accuracy. Mm -hmm. Dual chop. Now, I'm taking no chances. If that thing crits again, we're dead. So screw that noise. <laughs> just let the ice. Just let the snow slowly kill Satan. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how that works, works right? <laughs> Which is funny, because, you know, oh, uh, uh, the, oh, the last layer of hell is technically the coldest. That's right. We could actually well, attack now, like but I'm going to... No, Minnesota. attack! Attack, you coward! I mean, we have enough hit points now, we probably could survive. Yeah, go ahead and just hit it. Cross poison. Oh, Takayaki, God Slayer. Demon <laughs> Slayer. Slayed God, God Slayed Slayer. Satan. Everyone underestimates, you know, Tentacool and Tentacruel. Yeah, this is probably another fungus. <laughs> Takiyaki fears no gods nor demons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that snow cool. cools off Satan. Oh, that's me. <laughs> probably another fungus. Is that a tiny penis? Yeah, I guess the. I mean, I thought the, I thought I randomized like single encounters like this, but. What that, what that's gonna mean for legendaries? Yeah. Oh, good. My girlfriend can eat. She figured it out. Oh, good. Sorry. I got the heal uh, retweet. I don't want the. Well, yeah. I will just run away. Not gonna get much experience points anyway. Rose Psyche says, "No gods, no okay. demons, just takoyaki." <laughs> guys, do you want to know how adulty I was today? By the way, while we're no. playing Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I found a $7 bread maker at the thrift store and bought it. And I don't know if it works, but if it works, I bought a $7 bread maker. If I didn't work, if it doesn't work, I bought a $7 bread maker. <laughs> oh, all right. It, listen, if my parents are any indication, there's nothing more adult than buying a bread maker and then never using it. So <laughs> there you go. That's also fair. Yeah, I felt myself aging just listening to that story. Damn. <laughs> Joshua Hartman, so what are your thoughts on Exiles? I'm hoping we actually get like some full explanation soon because it's been like seven or eight issues and, 
and and we only and and we've just been going from from thing to thing to thing without any chance to really calm down. So I'm hoping we'll get some answers finally about what the Talus is doing. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. I've been, I'm I'm sincerely enjoying it. But man, it's just like it, there's no, there's been no time to breathe. I would kind of love it if, if Marvel would do a... Uh, we're getting a lot of microphone hitting. Um, I would love it if uh, Runaways would do a... I'm sorry, Marvel would do a Runaways movie. And I understand that they might have to change a lot of stuff about the characters, but that would be so awesome. Or a Netflix series. They did, they they did do a Runaways one? series. Yeah, they yeah. did a Runaways. Yeah, they did. A TV one? Yep. Yeah. And nice. here's the problem. Right. No. <laughs> it's, from what I've heard, it's not very good because it's it not, focuses not mostly on the parents. I'm gonna guess what? You guys. Guess how long it Bye. takes them to run away. Oh man, what about the parents though? In it? They focus uh, mostly on the parents, from what I hear. Yeah. Oh, no, gotcha. Oh yeah. No, yeah. You know how in the comic they run away like you know relatively yeah. early in the story. Right. Yeah, no. Entire the, first season before yep. they run away. Yep. The first one is like a, a, a family sitcom. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's. It, it's there's a of, lot wrong. It, mm. Also, also, Dom has better green screen effects than a fucking Hulu I, yeah, show. She's, she's, oh, they, man. They, I, said, That's, I said, that shot is terrible. I could do that in five seconds. She's like, no, you couldn't. I was like, stand in front of my green screen. Five seconds later, I did a better shot than that. Yeah, uh, for when Carolina's uh, flying. <laughs> You could see the green screen in the shot. It was upsetting oh me. <laughs> Arrow X, can you watch? Oh can you please watch more JoJo? Yeah, probably at some point. Uh, Lane or EA number? What are your thoughts on Willingham's Fables? Never read it. Uh, is that what like I, The Wolf Among Us is based on? Yeah. Yes. I, okay. I, I, I go for I it. Just. I don't know. I I feel like Runaways could have been really good. But then oh. again, like, Inhumans was a thing that existed, so... Well, I found out cool? there's, a, there's, a, there's a good reason for why part of it has changed in the comics versus the show. The Brian K. Vaughn, I guess, the, the guy who did the writing right. for Runaways, he said that, oh, well, when I wrote it, I wasn't a parent. And now I am a parent, so I wanted to <laughs> have more of the perspective on the parent side of this, and I was like, no... Oh but Runaways God. is about the kids. That's literally how that works. Oh huh? no, no, yes, no, Kalina, no. What are your thoughts on Fables? You were gonna say? Uh, no, I've only played the Wolf Among Us game, so I've okay. not, I've, I've not read it. Well, it's that universe. What? I liked it. It was pretty good. A little bit okay. I played of it. <laughs> right, Saint Helen right. and and Eldun can learn bulldoze. Do you want to teach it to either of them? Yeah, teach. Yeah. Uh, yes, at your discretion. It, who's Bulldoze the guy who is played physical, so not great in terms of uh, uh, Saint Helen does not have a great physical attack. Isn't uh, well, it's can... ground and stronger than Vice Grip. Yeah. So the the actor who played uh, Cole on Charmed and Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four movies. Remember him? Oh God, Julian McMahon. Yeah, guess what? Oh no. <laughs> He's the real bad guy in Runaways, cause the parents aren't totally evil. What? Some of them are, some of yeah. Them are. The guy who used to, James Marsters, who played Spike and Buffy, also in that. He is, and he's not bad. He, play, he plays a very abusive parent who's like inconsistently abusive. So it's like you can see why he hasn't been completely ousted as a father yet, cause sometimes he's nice, but then suddenly he'll just do something really horrible. So he's like a, a fairly interesting oh, so character. Like an abusive parent. Like yeah, he's he's a he's an actually very accurate representation of an abusive parent. But yeah. I mean all the all the parent actors are pretty good. So, so wait a minute, and has ninjas. Seeing him in that role. And has oh. ninjas. Of course he does. Also, Arrow X, what's your favorite dragon type? Uh, I feel like I answered this a while ago. Um Also Salamence. they don't they don't they they're not like different archetypes. Charizard, I'll say. I'm not Charizard sure. Dragon. No, no, Ampharos. Ampharos is my favorite dragon type. Oh, it's dragon type Ampharos. Ampharos. I agree, Ampharos. Ampharos is so fluffy when he's a dragon. He's pretty cool, yeah. That's when the fluff is gone. Ah, okay. yes. But I like the fluff. 
That was the Shadow Black Tree Black. ad just now. Getsis unlimited enlisted them in the Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the oh ones who God. prepared the Galvantula nest at the cave entrance. Yeah, we didn't see any Galvantulas, mostly because they probably won't appear anymore. <laughs> Charged yep. Stone Cave. I like this place. Oh, yeah, we can get a new friend here. New Sweet. New friend. Formulas express electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people do not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been chosen, you know. Does it surprise you I said that? Does it surprise us? Not no. even. No. No. no I feel pretty special. Apparently, uh, Ampharos is not a dragon type. It's just electric. Bullshit. No, no. It's a dragon type. It's a dragon type when it's in its um... mega. mega. Mega form. And you know what? Okay. I don't care. It's a, it was supposed to be a dragon. Its Japanese name is Denryu Electric Dragon. Electric Dragon. It okay, I'm going to step out of the room the for start. five minutes. Try not to let everyone die. Okay. <laughs> Listen, if you leave, this is your fault. Yeah, that's all. It's it's he you, man. He needs to pee. <laughs> Look, like, we're not going to we're not going to make any action while he's off screen. Oh my god, really? If you don't understand what that means, not likely to surprise you. I told Getsus about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the shadow tree I had to find out about you. That sounds incredibly creepy, Yen. Mm-hmm. That sounds yeah. kind of evil. In fact, I don't. I don't. Kinda I don't shitty. want you guys to know about me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Charon is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that not everyone can become strong. <gasps> no, she is not. <laughs> Go on. Sorry. And you are not swayed either way. More of a neutral presence. Are we neutral? Are we? Yeah. Those Are we filthy neutral? neutrals, Kiff. Uh, chaotic disinterested. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Getsus wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. One that keeps losing its friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So let's take a moment to look at our Pokemon White, the neutral run. Nathan Yu says, we shouldn't date N anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have, my plan is Booster Green with it with its, you know, normal type moves. Hopefully should not hurt anything in the cave, or at least not kill anything. Mm -hmm. Ted Shatner 10, your opinion on latest Doctor Who series. I've only watched the first three episodes. I've enjoyed it so far. I have not seen any of the new Doctor Who series because I have so much crap to do. I have three jobs. It's fine, you guys. Yes, Michael Red. I know we can evolve Nose Pass here. It's not a priority. I really liked um, the first episode I saw of it. I'm actually like, I have promised a friend that this is the time that I'm finally going to watch the entire season, hmm. only to find out that the app lies and I'm going to have to buy all the episodes. But I look forward to continuing it. I like the Doctor. I like her personality. I'm kind of liking the take that they have on her so far. Yeah, awesome. I hear that she's finally dealing with crap from like 9 through 12. <laughs> that would I wouldn't cool. know since, again, only first three episodes. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't only... seen any of it, so I'm not really sure. But that, that would be a nice change of pace, I think. Hmm. Arrow X, uh, those ninjas have been staring at those short shorts. That's fair. And They're Andrew comfy. Bull. Okay, back to the real subject. How does an electric sheep evolve into a storm dragon? Uh, the fluffy. Did you not Magic? see it? Magic, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Magic electric fluffy. sheep's dream of storm dragons. And the fluff. The fluff is is just just one of those that you know dragons like fluff. It's 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 just pure science here, people. The fluff is part of its horde. Chris Sanderson, do you think you'll do an updated cosplay guide for Linkara's other outfits? I'm mostly wondering about the pin and fancy scarf. I sell the pins now at conventions. Uh, so, huh. I so that's where you can get them. Whenever I'm at a convention, I will have pins for sale for $7. Uh, and the fancy scarf, I got at a rag stock, so, and it's like a paisley thing. So I should post an updated uh, guide because now it's more complicated again. Uh, and also, we're going to get a diff different jacket. That jacket is the old jacket. I just haven't had time to sew the new jacket, which I have, like, a bunch of materials just sitting on the ground. And if you you can't see it right now, but over there is a is a piece of luggage which has all the pattern pieces sitting on top of it. Arrow X, it's called the power of anime. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. that's also fair. Is Don oh. back yet? No, not yet. <laughs> well, I guess we're sitting here and doing nothing. Super I mean, Saiyan if you don't God fight anything, dragon. I don't think it'll matter. 
Let's look at the Pokedex and see if see what we can read for some people's entries. It sounds like Lewis really doesn't want to move until Tom gets I'm back. back. Okay, he's back. Okay, he's back. Oh, so here's God. yeah, here's the thing. We're we're wait we're making sure we don't take a single damn step without you. Because we're we are we are disproving tonight whether or not we're we're encyclopedia browning this thing here. We are going to discover if uh uh if if Dom's presence kills our Pokemon or not. Or uh, preserves them, as he claims. And hi, Bianca. <laughs> so what are we going to do if his presence does kill a Pokemon? Are we just going to be mad at him? Well, then they were just shitty trainers. We'll know I was innocent. <laughs> I mean, we will know fair. that he is innocent of, our, yeah. of the crimes we, the we have accused drowned. him of being. That, yeah, the that we have accused him of <laughs> and have no plans to properly apologize for if it turns out we are wrong. Arrow X, <laughs> thank Helix, he is done peeing. <laughs> I was making disgusting tea, and I just pee really, really slowly. <laughs> oh, I was like, guys, I was did you know this? Too. The floating stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Hi, I'm here too. Yeah, I was just waiting around the corner. Oh, for... Hi there! Yeah. How are you, Likagas? This place is always charged with lots of energy, electricity that Pokemon okay, like. Okay, real important, real important, guys. <laughs> Are we all Helix or are we all the other one? We're Dome. Exist. This chat this chat is for Domocracy, thank you very much. <laughs> dome. The electricity charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. I did not I I didn't need text speak for that. Okay. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear. Because I am researching the origins of Pokemon and the era they appeared. Love these pauses because I haven't hit the button fast enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Arrow X, so that. you were peeing in the teacup. Excuse me? I uh... can I I mean I can't prove I wasn't, but He wasn't. <laughs> I'll you vouch not... for you, you weren't. Trish. He knows how to get what he wants from people, but There's I was already dies. interested in this anyway, so it's a lot of fun. Great. She's talking about her dad, who we'll be meeting when we get out of this cave. Awesome. Uh, if someone dies, it's Dom's fault. If none dies, Dom is a witch. <laughs> yeah, basically, if I drown, I'm innocent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a dash. foolproof system. This is for you. <laughs> Absolutely no flaws whatsoever. Great, good, good. Glad, glad we're being fair about this. <laughs> Ooh, the lucky egg! Yay! Lucky egg. I don't know what that does. It increases the amount of experience points uh, into the Pokemon that's holding it gets, which is great for grinding. Nice. Nice. Oh, yep. Just I'm all just that. skipping through the, that bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I am. That's also great for grinding. That's what I expected you to do. It's just that we immediately got an explanation right after you. Explained. Cut. All right, new friend. So now we really oh, want, like, cool! Shedinja. It doesn't have. <laughs> It's not gonna have Wonder Guard. It only has one hit point. What? Shedinja oh. is a gimmick Pokemon. It has an ability called Wonder Guard. Uh, Wonder Guard means that it cannot be hit by any moves that it is that are not super effective against it. Okay. It is Ghost Bug. All right. <laughs> so that it's basically, fire. and 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 the way they get around that by making it uh, is is by having it only have one hit point. Yep. Because it is technically the shed remains of, of another Pokemon. It, basically, the Pokemon that, have, that it came from, Ninkata, evolves into two Pokemon at the same time. Shedinja and uh, Ninjask. Cool. Ninjask came out of this shell. And the shell is its own Pokemon. That's kind of cool. It's like a and reverse creepy. slow bro. <laughs> yeah. That so we can't, so, so, even, so even if we questions. wanted to attack it, we can't because, because, it, because it's a ghost type. Which, oh, that's going to be 4x effective. Ugh. The only advantage we have right now is the fact that it's not very it's not a very strong Pokemon either. Why don't you just try to kill it? Uh, I don't want to try to kill it. I want to try to catch it, because you never know. But it's not got the thing you said that needed to make it not suck. Yeah, but I'm kind of curious now what its ability actually is. Yeah, yeah, we got to capture it for science. Michael Null, oh, wonderful, a Shedinja that can't guard. Andrew Ball, Dome, Helix, I say Amberlism all the way. We don't believe in those filthy neutrals. Uh, and Sir Straw Hat is reminding us that we can use Netball. All right, we can use a Netball on it. All right, let's I try mean... it. 
According according to my shirt, um, Dorothy in the street, Blanche Damn. in the sheets. So, tail glow. I have never seen that about that that move before. Unfortunately, it's raising its special attack. We might want to kill it. <laughs> what if it has sturdy? If it had sturdy, it would be perfect. That would mean that it's invincible. I oh, I am no, curious about what its up. ability is. Come on, stay in the dust ball. Damn it! <laughs> is there no way of? Do you not have like safety claws or whatever it's called? Uh, you mean uh, uh false cups? swipe? Oh, so, yeah, false swipe. It's that's a normal it. type move, won't hit it. Oh, shit! This guy may be invincible. Silver <laughs> wind, bug type move. We should resist it. Yeah, we're fine. Just gonna keep chucking balls at it. Yeah. <laughs> You're basically playing Pokemon Go at this point. Pretty much. <laughs> God bless it. Struggle bug. Get in the damn ball. <laughs> we're not gonna be atta we're not gonna attack you, just get in the freaking ball. And eventually we'll just run out of balls needs the timer balls. Hmm. One. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yeah, even with even with its with its special attack maxed out, it's not doing much damage. Hmm. Keep this. Just... Get the ball, shit, Ninja. Give it a focus yeah. sash, which could work. The ball. But focus sash is not guaranteed. Oh, oh, oh. yeah! There we go. There's also a possibility of uh, shaking ground in here, so we might be able to find it. A discarded bug shell that came to life, peering into the crack in its back, is said to steal one's spirit. That sounds uh -oh. bad. Yeah, there's a hole in its back where the Dinjask came out of. So what are we naming Man. it? There should just be a whole team of Pokemon just uh, that's just called Hazardous to Children. <laughs> I can't believe we had to let and not like have ten year olds carry these. And I don't mean like the god ones. I just mean like the ones that carry off kids. This one. My uh, god. Name Us itself. And Shao Kahn. Yep, sorry. Um, I'm so confused. Spawn, so before, Deadite. before it evolves, Deadite. Shinji. Before it evolves, it before it one. evolves, it's one consciousness that splits, or is it like the inner side has a consciousness? There's so many philosophical questions, isn't it? Good question. It, it, yeah. Name uh, itself. Casper. Ikari, Nebi, because um, it needed to get in the ball slash bag. What was Danny DeVito's character called in Twins? Uh. It's like Jules or something. Mm. Gara, King of Worms, Black Lantern, Linkarinja, uh, Takeru, Corpse, Corpse, <laughs> former self. That's just straight to the point. The, the leftovers. <laughs> the leftovers. Leftovers. I wouldn't mind that. Oh my god! But I second leftovers because that's just great. Leftovers. I just want to break its spirit every time we call it by its name. <laughs> Void. <laughs> So mean. What Nelly. if we gave it leftovers, though? It would be Exotron. useless because it only has one hit Exotron. point. Exotron. I kind of like that. Okay, oh, he added, well, murder corpse. There we go. Eve leftovers, baggage left behind. Dead man, noodle leftovers, red shirt, dead man walking, remnan. I like remnan or remnants. I like remnan. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go remnant. All right, we'll check out its ability later after we get out of the cave. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a possibility of shaking ground in here. Okay. So we'll look hmm. around for that when as we go through the cave, and that can be our second in our special encounter for the cave. Ooh, Shadow Cat mentioned one hit wonder. Nice. It would be so nice if it had sturdy, basically making it indestructible. Yeah. Jeremy Adler loved your appearance at the end. Oh, good. We could have gotten Nesprit. It's a legendary. Oh. Add Love that. your appearance at the end of the latest Blockbuster Buster episode along with Lupa. Very excited to see the next episode later this month. Yep, that's what I... Uh, that was what I was filming in uh, uh, Florida when I had a bit of a, a scheduling conflict with a con. Mm. So those of you who are at OniCon, that's why I was late. Oops. I'm going to kill it so I can get the experience points. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a shame because Mesprit, Mesprit, you know, any of the, you know, it's that it'd be nice to have yet another legendary on the team. Although we probably don't have enough balls for that. Yeah. We can't get it. We already got Shedinja. Yep. Maybe if it's in the uh, shaking grass, uh, the shaking ground. Wonderland Pirate brings up a good point, but if you had an indestructible Pokemon on your team, you'd never get to call in the Revengers. I, not well, necessarily. I we, yeah. uh, it's still affected by stat status moves. And not only that, but like, you know, we only need one Pokemon to go to need the Revengers. <laughs> you know, we don't have to have a team wipe. Plus, um, kind of I think there's only five on that team anyway. It could be the survivor that joins the Revengers. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna run away. I'm gonna use the uh, uh, super repel. While it's nice to see what we would have, that we we want to if we want yeah. to encounter the uh, the shaking ground, we need to actually like oh we only have one super repel. We need to be able to run more. around. Yeah, just swarm. We had more repels. Uh, and Brian Lay Wolf Hunt is asking, you could um, the Shedenja, uh be if it uh, be taken out by Destiny Bond, even if it had that indestructible? I was almost going to say quirk, but um, ability. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Destiny Bond does still affect it. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I could have gotten a Venipede. Venipede is one of the two bug types of Gen 5, and they're really good. Ooh. Is that Hoenn? Uh, no, uh, Unova. Okay. You know, I decided we're just going to fly back. Let's, let's stock up on stuff. We have the cash now to afford it. We need more potions because we just used like sixteen of them. In yeah, a single we had quite a few, so we'll just we'll we'll, we'll restock up on supplies, mm -hmm. and we'll check out Chet Engine's ability. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the disappointing things with it with my decision to uh, run this as our first ever randomized Nuzlocke. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I wanted it because there's so much variety. With Gen 5, it's more than two bug types. You know what I meant, though. Early level bug types. Yeah. The, you know, Caterpie Weedle analogs. Yeah. That are in every game. And though, Except in this case, they evolve at, like, level 20 and 30. So and so you get a lot more. It's ability... It has Wonder Guard! Oh! <gasps> nice. I thought I... I th Randomized ability should have taken that off. Maybe just or randomly came back to it. Yeah, it was meant to be. I thought I I thought I had rotated I thought I had selected in the thing to to rotate it, it around. Mm hmm But I mean it's possible for it to be there, just it's very, very, very unlikely. Actually, now well I mean we're getting Pokemon that would be randomized normally, but we've well, been having a couple of in things. The grass, so so maybe the next thing we, we, we capture we'll see if its ability is something it should have or not. Maybe something went wrong. Yeah. So Remnant is not randomizer. useless. Here's the problem, though. With the randomized moves, anyone could have super effective moves against it. It's true, but it's still strong. It's po it's more Fair likely enough. that I just didn't click the thing that randomized its ability. Oh, maybe. Nice move set, though. Hmm. Arrow X Horley Sheet. I did not swear. I said sheet. Sheet. So yeah, uh, yeah, remnant for Revengers. We could put remnant on the Revengers. I like it. Let me just uh, stock up on super repels real quick here. I mean, it's got a soul sucking vent in the back of its body. It, it sounds does. perfect for it. It's our guy. We got so many good guys for our Revengers. All right, we're gonna move you over to the Revengers. Yeah, I've I've run a Shed Ninja before in uh, uh, actually a run of white actually because I wanted to. It was a Pokemon I'd never actually tried before. It got killed a lot. It was not a Nuzlocke, uh -huh. it was just a regular run, and yeah, it got killed all the damn time because rock because basically rock, fire, dark, ghost, are and flying are all super effective against it. Mm -hmm. Oh. So that's still five things, and 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 unfortunately, a lot of things learn dark type moves nowadays. Hey, you. Good morning, YouTube. Didn't notify me anything new. Uh, we caught a Shed Inja that still has Wonder Guard. Oh, mm. I put it in the retired box. <laughs> I mean, it oh, is no. a ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> my, my mistake. Sorry about that. 
people are saying there's a lot of bugs in the Avengers, but it's okay. There's two bugs in the Avengers, accounting uh, Remnant. Oh yeah, yeah, there's just two bugs. Yeah, we have a lot of poison types. Is what I'll say, we have uh, we have one ghost, a ghost bug, yeah. bug but, poison, like, pure poison, listen. ground dark, bug flying. Oh, we do have we do have sight. We have grim hands. Grim hands is it's JoJo reference. You uncluttered. You good though. And rock psychic. Yeah, we don't have a lot of type <laughs> variation in uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the Revengers. Wait, are the Revengers supposed to be a bunch of murderers? No, they're supposed to be our uh, the people who avenge us. We want to be able to take revenge. immediate revenge on anyone who team kills us. Yep. All right, you know, now, be now begins this up. this this fun job because we can only buy one at a time. At least we don't have to yeah. reselect it. Soda run. It's dead now. No going back. <laughs> no, it was visiting everyone in the retirement home. Uh huh. It was. That's not how it works. Only death sends it there. I thought of doing a ghost type run throw with the names of my fallen Nuzlocke Pokemon. That's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Aww. Uh, Arrow X, I hate autocorrect. <laughs> I mean, doesn't everybody? <laughs> That's why I have it turned off. Yeah, I think in Arrow X's previous message, he meant to say uncultured. Uncultured yeah. line. Yeah. I was totally going to lean into this new insult. Like, yeah, you uncluttered clout. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain is perfectly neat because there's nothing in it. It's so uncluttered. <laughs> All right, one more soda. And I think we are good. I'm going to get a few more lemonades. That's like 80 or 90. Um, and then, we'll, then we'll just like super repel all the way through the cave. Uh, Goliath 100 says, I'm a C11, me too. And then um, Mr. Sonic Hedgehog, I hope the Revengers won't be under leveled against other Pokemon. Um, Lewis is leveling them when he can. Hmm. Like yep. he's grinding them. Also I'm grinding them off screen. screen. It's, it's faster that way and, we, and that way the stream won't get boring. You, mm -hmm. I've been watching you for 10 years. I went through university, two years of army and graduated school. I'm thankful for everything you produced. Thank you, you. <laughs> and Starry Quill, are there any Pokemon you highly dislike? Mine is the Hopip line, mostly because I would literally be allergic to it since the whole line is Cottonwood. I'm sorry to hear oh, about that. Fair. I actually quite like the Hopip line. Uh, ones I dislike, I don't like Stunfisk. Yeah. Uh, let's see, who else Stunfisk do I not like? Stunfisk is weird. Like, I don't hate it, but it's super weird. I don't like yeah. Wingull. There's something about Wingull that just bugs me. Really? It's a seagull. That's it. <laughs> I think it's super cute, but I don't like Pelipper. I think Pelipper is gross looking. Um, I anything I mean, that's not the original 150. I don't like the Mr. Mime line. Listen, They're creepy. Um, and I don't care that mine. Oh, actually, while we're here, uh, let's find the city that had uh, uh, quick uh, quick balls. So we'll buy a bunch of those too. I forgot to get balls while we we're in town. Uh, let's just try back here. Uh, Aerox, I'm, I'm now always going to say Uncluttered Swine now. <laughs> See, what else? What other Pokemon do people not like? Uh, I don't I, like Lucario. That's really? Fair. I, I, do, I think its design is too busy. I don't I, I don't really like it at all. It, yeah. it just... I, I, there's just something about... I mean, I feel it's overrated. Mm -hmm. I don't like its mega form either. Okay. I, I, can, I definitely see you on the its design looking like really cluttered. I agree with that. Perhaps more net balls. Um, I don't um, really hate any Pokemon yeah, designs. I just am just heavily ambivalent towards a good majority of them. I I can see that. Yeah. I you know because like oh look another bug oh look another fish oh look another bird. I don't care for like the Pantor and those elemental monkeys. I know there's another set of elemental monkeys that is not as bad, but the Pantor ones, I'm like, this is lame. Just no. Yeah. This is uh, TMs. Zubat is Zubat is hated just because there's so many of them, but I don't actually Milk hate that tank. line because Zubat <gasps> is awesome. Why? Milk tank, yo. Why? Because it won't stop drinking its own udders. It creeps me out. <laughs> Ooh, you had milk tank milk? Yeah, but it used milk drinks, so it's basically 
sucking its own udders that disturbs oh me. Oh my god, who was the gym leader? Whitney! Whitney's milk tank is the worst! Yes! yes. So like, he, yeah, that's the whole point. So here's the thing about Whitney's mill tank that no one actually realized until much later. Mm. You can trade for a freaking Machop right inside the store. Really? Yeah, like right inside the same... Where is... I know there's a place you can buy Quick Balls. Uh, yeah, that's the thing that no one realized is until like, like recently. It's like, oh, there's a person who will trade you like a uh, like a drowsy or something for a Machop, and there are drowsies in the grass right outside town. Uh huh. And of course, Machop fighting type super effective against the against the mill tank. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, yeah. Awesome. Oh my god. So I whoops. Never knew uh, that. Yeah, I know. It's not okay. It's not yeah. Back so here in Striaton, is it? There is an easy out there. You just had to be a thorough trainer. I know that there's a. Ah, uh, well. I was always a shitty trainer in my first run through of a Pokemon game, like especially a new Pokemon game. But, like, once I play through it once, and, like, if I want to do, like, another run after I transfer them up, I kind of, like, go, okay, now that I know where all the secret shit is, I can go get all the secret shit, shit and be a good trainer or something. Yeah, we need Ultra Balls. Have, that has bought. anyone ever actually tried to get all the Pokemon in a game? I have the living, I have a living Pokedex right now. I have actually. a living Pokedex in X and in Ultra Moon. Nice. My living Pokedex is in Moon, and I finally have completed it for realsies this time. So yay. the Wonder Trade and the and the Global Trading System is so helpful to actually complete the Pokedex. Yeah, I never, I never even wanted to. Like, I understand like this, like trading with people, like that could be annoying. I just never felt the need to collect them because I felt bad if I wasn't using like my main like six and then an, oh, like a backup party. <laughs> Uh, I felt I... like I was abandoning them to do nothing. Oh. Yeah, living in. Are I like. You have to assume that it's really nice living in those computer boxes. I guess so. I wanted to collect the original, you know, 150 when I was a kid and playing the game, and I never did. But I did actually trade with someone over the cable club thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I was randomly like Whoa, walking shaking, around shaking ground. school. And found and some kids item, trading okay. Pokemon, and for some reason, like, I was like, I'm just gonna go over there and ask them if, if I can trade with them too. And they said yes, and I've probably never been more proud of a social accomplishment ever <laughs> than that. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I'm like a real Pokemon trainer now. <laughs> Sorry, if you heard thunder, that was just our cats. Yeah, they're, they're on crack or something, damn. Sloking! Whoa. Okay, he works for Umbrella Corp, I see. <laughs> I never thought about that before. Mm, adorable. I'm such a Pokemon old man, like, what happened to Slowbro? He's got all stupid. Slow King of the Gen 2, it's an alternate evolution line. Huh. It's really funny to me, though, because, like, I have that Pokemon Pathfinder game that I do, and. I'm from Unova. I'm actually from where the Eevees are nested in Unova in Castelia City. Mm. That's like where my character is from, and it's great. <laughs> from you, and you can always like, buy two DSs in all games, no trade. Yep, unless, yeah. well, not always, because some, because if you want a living Pokedex, some legendaries can only be given away at events, and some people can't get to those events. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I always just, doing that felt like, tr felt like cheating as a kid. You know, I was just an illogical kid at the time, that's all. <laughs> What's the point of Unknown? Logical, unknown but, is a know. gimmick Pokemon. Although, to be fair, without Lewis, I would not have completed the Pokedex because he gave me a Mew. <laughs> traded up. Mm. I traded that. I traded a bunch of Mews up from uh, uh, Gen Three when I did my when I did my big uh, uh, trade up th up uh, video. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, otherwise, unknown unknown disappoints me. I will admit because when I first yeah. saw it in gold and silver, I was like, "Oh man, this thing is so cool!" And no, it, it's it's actually its name is unknown. I don't know anything about it. And then it only learned one move. I, I think I got that thing up to like level twenty twenty five, where I was like, "Does it evolve? Yeah. Does it not learn? What the hell is this thing?" I've done the same thing. I've done the same thing. I um, like unknown, but but it's so disappointing. <laughs> I, yeah, and, and somehow the cheating aspect did, like, I was just fine with using a Game Shark to get a Mew in, in my game naturally, because I couldn't go to that event either. Mm. 
Let's see. Torterra is ground to grass. Color change. So it's now it's normal type. Oh yeah, and Stack vs. Garden is saying, I still don't understand how in the third movie they tried to hype Unknown as a legendary Pokemon. Yeah. It's, it's more that it's just of... mysterious. Yeah, it's just it's just weird, that's all. Okay, let's fly. Okay, guys, I have a really important question for you. Favorite starting lineup line that is not the original. So, Lewis, you can't pick Bulbasaur's line. Uh, best, you know, uh, as in like the first, uh, you know, starters? Yeah, when you get the starters at the beginning of the game, like gens two through seven, like which do you think is like the best starting line out of uh, any of the starter lines? Either Gen two, or which which like Cyndaquil, uh, uh, Totodile, and Chikorita, mm -hmm. or uh, Gen six, which is Fennekin, which I'm gonna call it, uh, uh, Chespin, and and Froakie. Uh, and Froakie. I like those ones, but yeah. Yeah, I like Fennekin. I, I, I adored Fennekin, actually. Mm -hmm. Jet, yeah, I like Fennekin, too. But I, I don't know. Rowlet's Jet a Simmons cool dude, really though. Good. Rowlet, man. And Rowlet's way to go. Litten is cute. Acrobatic. It's adorable. 55, 100. I like, I mean, like, we can't get rid of Fly, and Return and Extreme Speed are incredibly helpful. Yeah, like, I actually... I Imagine doing playing Pokemon Slime without getting Rowlet as the starter. Like I can't. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did do a Nuzlocke with uh, uh, the Printplup. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, as my starter, and it was, and 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 it went well. Unfortunately, it was during that big streak of like every every Nuzlocke I did had a Water starter, and all of them died. <laughs> oh no. Like it was finally my yep. Platinum one that finally broke that streak. Hmm. From you, don't you guys think it's weird that Ash's mom and Professor Oak always appear together in the Pokemon anime? Also, Professor Oak is too mindful toward Ash. Um, I think... Diplop, that was its name. I think Professor Oak is trying to protect Ash's mom from the Mr. Mime that she owns. That's fair. fair. Like, she thinks it's cute, and he's just... He's just trying to help her. Oh, he's going Yo, to touch the, you the Detective Pikachu, Mr. Mime, is the stuff of nightmares, okay? I mean, it, yeah. it, it's incredibly accurate. What an accurate representation. Fair yeah. Enough. I just I think that, like, you know, both of them have empty nest syndrome, and they, they seek each other out as friends. He, oh, yeah. let's, like, sends children away. He's He's got fuck these children syndrome. <laughs> uh, and then Professor Oak being mindful towards Ash, I mean... Man, I, I don't know. I mean, we don't necessarily see him with, like, anybody else, really, except for, like, Gary, maybe. Oh, well, I guess, I'm sorry. In but the Gary's anime, the most badass I, Pokemon. He, I don't know. Ever, like, anime protagonist. Hard to say. In an area that only has eight gyms, okay? <laughs> Julie, Professor Juniper has something to say. Oh, oh, yes. Hi there. Did you find something? Arrowax hate Littons because Incineroar favors Blaviskin. Uh, I think that's the least the Yanka. Oh. Okay, uh, whatever. I think we're just about done collecting data. You guys were standing in uh, one spot. Oh, oh, yeah. This cave has been around since the distant past, but data to prove that Clink existed more than 100 years ago can't be found. I did find this 2,000-year-old battery, though. <laughs> 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 so that must mean... Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. <laughs> I, this woman is going to get laughed out of her next science conference. <laughs> <laughs> where Pokemon came from and where they are going? If we can learn that, I believe we can get along even better. No, what? The guy has Pokemon are mysterious. Yeah, they sure are. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder why these amazing little guys stay by our sides. Oh! I kind of love that phrasing. Just they're amazing little guys. They're dudes. Our little friends helping us. They're good guys. <laughs> I'm a hiker exploring caves. I will teach you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. Dude, we know. Well, I looked away for a second. I was sure you were making that up as a joke, but that's actually what he said. Yep. Yep. Oh, guys, it, is, you know, it was just pointed out. 
We found clink. We found a clink clang and a fossil. Yeah, that's right. And then they said clink clang in the dialogue for the game. Did they? Did it get changed because of what we got in the? Yeah, because 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 it's a different. It's supposed to be a different Pokemon in the fossils. But they said clink clang specifically was found in that fossil. So yeah, she's just a bad. She's just that's terrible cool. at her job. Umbreon's done. Correct. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, apparently some abilities were still randomized. I love that. So like in in our Nuzlocke, Professor Juniper is like a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> Payback. Let's uh. Let's try Ooh, to take that Umbreon as a tank. Has a, is a good question. Um, uh, Samurai Tiger 19. In your Nuzlocke games, excluding this current one, which team member's death hurt the most? Uh. Usually when it's uh, when it's like a starter, it always hurts the worst. Mm. Yeah, starters are always the worst during Nuzlocke if you lose them. Crafty fighting dark. We should be fine. Aura Sphere. Takayaki, Taka names. That, that was a terrible pun. Taken names is what I was going for. Nice. Let's see. Okay. Question for for the call. Favorite evolution. Ah, uh, Glaceon. Mm. That's not a bad choice. Mm. Um. And I, and I think this is an emotional one more than a playing thing. I really do like Sylveon, but I think I like Flareon. I really like Flareon a lot as a Pokemon. So, I guess that one. Hmm. Kaluna, Dom. Hmm? Favorite evolution. Favorite evolution. Oh, uh, uh, Vaporeon, because fuck the world. <laughs> you know what, Dom? I totally agree with you. Vaporeon yeah. fo followed very closely by Umbreon. Vigi's, v uh, Vigi's attacking me. Uh, favorite EV evolution. Uh, Eevee? Evolution. Huh? Eevee. Uh, evolution, Sylveon. Nice. Yes, I like Sylveon. Why is your wife attacking you? What did you do this time? She does this every stream. Oh, yep. okay. I, I'm not here for every stream. It's, it's part of Lewis's conditioning. Thing. It's conditioning <laughs> for what? <laughs> no. I don't know. Hands off the controller. It's preparing him for no. real life. Yeah, yeah I never asked you that thing. part. Stick him up. No. Hi, Lewis. Give me the life, Pokemon. Vida. No. Get. Give me the Pokemon! Nope. I got a laser... Whatever the hell this is. Well, for one thing, the, the compartment here, which is the power system, has been taken out. Fine, I'll just get the other gun. <laughs> anyway, I'm being attacked by ninjas. Mm -hmm. Give me the Pokemon! Won't work for you. What? What do you mean it won't? <laughs> Damn it, I'll get the other gun. Okay, let's see here. Lewis, well, do you ever start to think that you get... Got too many guns? Nope. No. <laughs> Sweetie, my office is in a state of temporal grace. It doesn't work. I got this bone. Q bone. Andrew Bull says hi, Vega. I will bone you. No. I mean, actually, wait. <laughs> wow. Also, Andrew Bull. <laughs> hi, Vega. Yeah. Bone. Yeah. You're getting bone. Yeah. <laughs> Boner. I don't yeah. think that's what he had in mind, yeah. but hey, okay. Would you, would you like this? I would like the boner, yes. <laughs> How's the stream? Everything's going just fine. Dom is here, so no one's died yet. Hey, he's You're good welcome. Charm. Vine whip. Yeah. Vine whip. Vine whip. Vine whip. Also, I'm stealing your candy. Ah, shit. See what you've done? You see what happens when you try to steal candy? Well, maybe you should close the bag. Anyway, I stole your candy. See what happens yeah. when you mess with the orphans? Ah, there. I'm out. <laughs> boner, boner. Boner. Boner, boning of boner. Boner. Boner, boner. <laughs> Erect penis. Boner. <laughs> Bring back that old chestnut. Anyway, ninjas. It's funny ninjas. because he said boner. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm literally nine. It's fine. He ain't, he ain't or Lane number. I'm, I keep, I keep. Sorry, I keep going. You know, not sure if it, if it's Lane or Ian. Uh, if you lived in the Pokemon world, which region? I'd probably you know, want to uh, be in Johto or Kalos. Unova, cause cause New York City. Okay, ninjas. I was going that way anyway. You didn't have to escort me over the bridge. Arrowex. So is Lewis bisexual? He has a wife and likes boner. I am not bi. Uh, although I could, you know, I could be bi, but I don't think I am. I have that effect on men. Don't worry. <laughs> I mean, that's the real reason why I want you on these streams, Dom. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I ship it, and we've constructed this whole "you have to be here so the Pokemon don't die" narrative. Oh, He's yeah. been killing his Pokemon to get me back on the streams. That's cold. Man. <laughs> yeah, it is. How dare you? Electivire. This could be bad. I had to run back. I heard someone mention bi people. Ah, uh, someone was asking if I was bisexual. I am. She is. I am Woo, also bisexual. <laughs> All right, I'm out. See you later. <laughs> this has been a oh, bi announcement how, by Vega. I love how bisexual uh, bisexuality literally summons other bisexuals. It's really great. This could... been... Go ahead. I was say, apparently I've been using bi colors in the background of my videos for years now because it's like blue and pink. So I didn't I didn't know that. We have not found a shaking sand friend yet. We could since we have enough uh, uh, super repels now. We could actually like do that real quick. The problem is every time we do the shaking grass also has a chance of it just being an item. Electivire looks like it's an electabuzz that's like been living alone in a cabin in Alaska for like oh, here we five go. years. Yeah, that's fair. Ooh, you know what this is? Oh, we got, oh yeah. Uh oh. Hey Fire Kaluna, weapons. what's this Pokemon? Yeah, it's a rock. That is, what is, kind of a rock? That is shaped like a tree. It kind of looks like it's got fidget spinners for hands. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of boners. Were we? What? <laughs> I think what you mean is sw swinging what? back around to boners. Arrow X, what did I start and what did you name your Bulba? Uh, I, th I don't think I... Yeah. I don't know what which Bulbasaur you're referring to. Anyway, okay, let's try to capture this pseudo widow. It's a tree that looks like a, a rick. See, everyone in the chat is doing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> At least figured. they play along. Well, I figured I'd give you some new material, Lewis. <laughs> Actually, I do like this fidget spinner in her comment. Thank you for that. No problem. <laughs> Which Pokemon from the Kogon Gold Beta do you wish made into the game? Quite a few. I liked, uh, uh, there was, uh, uh, I liked the Bell Cats. I liked that, I liked uh, the, uh, I liked the Voodoo Doll one. I liked the Kane, um, Swan that was like an evolution of, uh, Farfetch'd. That was so cute. You like Ditu? Yeah. Um, and Casey reviews this in advance saying, can we please call it in the pseudo wudu fidget? Sure. <laughs> if caught him in this fidget, one, we could. I mean, you pay, you pay money, like, Andrew. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry for mentioning this, but this one kind of reminds me of Pickle Rick. He's kind of, you know? I, I, I know you summon that fandom. How dare you? All right. MRDZ Entertainment. Oh, Takiyaki, the rock that looks like a three. Hey, Al. Arrowax, I mean all Bulbasaur, so stop talking about bones. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky Bell, Bell Boner. <laughs> you know what? I I would be down for that. Not I'm going to heal lie. just in case it crits or something. Mm. Rocky Bell Boner. Uh, one more cut should should uh, be enough to do it. Unfortunately, I remember Pseudo Widow has a pretty uh, uh, low catch rate, so this might take a few balls. Yeah. Uh, 
Ian Number says, I retract my suggestion in favor of Rocky Bell Boner. <laughs> Sarah Beer, just saying I had a pretty bad week, and even though I act like a spaz in the chat, it makes me feel good to know I can spaz here. Thanks for dealing with my terrible jokes, and I hope you get some relaxation for yourself. Well, thank you very much. Also, we try to avoid the word spaz here because it turns out uh, it's a, it's it's not a nice word in England. It, it's it's really not. <laughs> yeah, Charlie didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. it's fine because it, I don't insist on like. It means something you know, different here, but, 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 we're, but, but for the sake of for the sake of, of the British viewers. Fair enough. And right, you right. Don't. Yeah, but we know you didn't didn't know that, yeah. sir. Beer. Yeah, that's fine. Feel free to just have fun on here. It's what we're here for, and just and just have a goofy old time. No, 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 it's okay. You're fine. You're fine, Sarah Beer. Yeah. Thanks for hanging with us. Arrow X, what did you name your Bulbasaur in your games? I usually name it Bulba Fett. Oh, that is that is choice. Well done. That's very cute. I I like it. It was a great suggestion when I was doing my X team. That and I actually got X and Y right during Elisa and Paul's wedding. So I was playing that like in in the hotel room on the way, uh, uh, yo yo, before we got over there. All right, TM mm -hmm. TM Newton, since rock that looks like a tr like a face rock is from Gravity Falls, are you a fan of the show? Thanks for ten years of comics, Chanigans. Uh, I'm assuming you're referring to our running gag. No, that is a uh, uh, it's a gag the from the Pokemon original. Omicron Nuzlocke where Kaluna was on. <laughs> And basic, and I can't remember what what exactly started it, but it was just, but it was just like I don't really get pseudo wood or something like that. And it's like it's a rock that looks like a tree. But you were saying, yeah, but it's it's like it's it looks like a tree, and you're like, yes, it's a rock that looks like a tree. Yeah. And then we just kind of just kept repeating it forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so funny when you have to explain it. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rocky Balboner. His sprite is humping. <laughs> like, it pretending to look like a tree is, wouldn't like work on like a Gigaraph or any of those other like leaf eating Pokemon. I guess maybe that's what the rock part would help. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna. I obviously have to, I have to uh, shorten it a bit to make this fit. Also, Arrow X, what do you think about Charizard? Charizard's fine. Charizard's the coolest! I mean, he's the hottest, actually, but, you know, whatever. B-N-R. There we go. Because we are ten years old. <laughs> Is there any other place we can go to? So, are we putting are we putting Rocky Rocky Balboner on the team? I can't say it with a straight face. I mean, it's a pure rock type, which would not be bad. But we do already have a uh, 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 Saint Helen right now, who's a uh, fire rock. We could have gotten an Ursa Ring. Oh, <laughs> could have named it Chicago. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we are good. All right, we 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 we've. We've caught what we can caught catch in here. Let's level up everybody else. Let's get Eldune out. Andrew Ball, so instead of being uh, uh, that word, how about being a fraz? Fraz could work. Talk uh, frazzle, feeding, frazzle. feeding two birds with one scone, they say. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god. Peter you know just how long does it, it for took attention. Me to make sure you said scone instead of scone. Okay. Were you Kaluna, a tree? I, I, <laughs> Kaluna, Kaluna, I have a very serious question for you. Oh no, what is it? How do you put up with it? Put up with what? Dumb. Us. Uh, oh, oh, okay. We're, like go it, we're like, going anti-British again, Like his we? Britishisms? Yeah, his Britishisms. He doesn't really have that many, honestly. Aluminium. I say aluminum and you just go into a mental, like, breakdown. It's it great. <laughs> See, that's a thing. It's less that I have to put up with him and that he has to put up with me and everyone else. That's fair. <laughs> Y'all just speak so funny here. I, yeah, I just keep out. apologizing for everything. That's literally what I do. <laughs> it's, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> ah, good, a doctor. We can heal up here. Uh, Arrow, uh, let's see. Benjamin Hall, thoughts on upcoming Watchmen show? I'm not really paying attention to it, so I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, okay. Arrow X, Rocky Balboner will have its revenge for friends. Yes. Wait, so this guy, if you defeat him, he heals your Pokemon? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Uh, 
really anything that's really that strong, so we'll just attack it. Uh, MRDZ Entertainment, sweetest mother of Takayaki puns. <laughs> Sludge Wave, which unfortunately I'm pretty sure is a special move. Whoa. Yeah, it's a very Sludge powerful wave. special move, but our special attack sucks. Uh -huh. Stronger. Poison Jab or Cross Poison. Okay, yeah, Poison Jab is stronger. And gastro Acid, we just we just want to uh, suppress abilities if we want to. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll skip Sludge Wave. As someone who's suffering from very bad acid reflux, I find that offensive. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> But yeah, I have no thoughts about the upcoming Watchmen show, sorry to say. I didn't even know they were making one, actually. Yep, that's, Amazon that's is terrible. producing it. Uh, what are they producing? Okay. A Watchmen show. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, apparently Dom and I did not know that that was a thing. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. Fair. Samurai Tiger 19. So I've been on an MSC3K kick lately, uh, and I'm only familiar with the new series. Besides Manos, which episodes from the previous series would you recommend? Puma Man. Uh, Puma Man's Space classic. Mini. Basically all of uh, Season 8. Season 8, I, I I don't think there's a dud in the bunch. I think the, the movie is pretty accessible. They did This Island Earth for yep. that one. I really, yeah, I really liked the movie. Dean Newton, you should definitely watch Gravity Falls. It's on my list. I, I want to watch it at some point. It's pretty good. Gyarados. I have the whole thing. Hey, Gyarados. It's man. So, of course, I send out the thing that's going to be, you know, 4x uh, uh, mm -hmm. harmed by water moves. Uh, let's bring out Booster Green again. Locuus, Dr. Wayne, Linkara, you killed Bruce's father. <laughs> no, I killed his manky. Yeah, that's right. And it's a key shaped like a man. <laughs> Alright. Heal block. That's gonna suck. Let's see. Well, let me think about... Uh, there was another question that I was trying to... Oh, that's, uh, let's think about other good MST3K episodes. What's the one with the granola in space? Oh, um... Uh, uh, Phantom Planet. Phantom, I just really love all the space granola jokes. Like, the rest of the episode's great, but those, the space granola jokes are pretty much my favorite thing. Oh, good! Tornadus. It's a uh -huh. legendary. I think it's pure flying. Benjamin Hall, HBO Ashley, with Damon Lindelof in charge. Amazon is doing the boys. Okay. Uh, okay, what are we sending against this damn thing? Ugh. I don't even care what anybody says, but Santa, uh, Santa Conquers the Martians probably one of my favorite episodes. Is Tornado pure, pure flying? Uh, I don't know. Julie, could you look it up? Uh, yeah, sorry, and I was, I was distracted. What would you like me to look up? Tornadus. Tornadus, okay. Everyone is saying pure flying, but I want confirmation. Need the... No. Just, just I need a tumble Pokemon. Yeah, the only oh. pure flying Pokemon. Everything else has a, every other flying Pokemon has other as a secondary type, usually normal. It looks like it is pure flying. Okay, Mag Cargo could work, but but I am worried about about Saint Helen because especially because we don't have any rock moves. Okay. I prefer I, I prefer also... to trust in in, oh. in what we have. That is confirmed to be awesome. Oh wow, that is that is essentially just a thunder god in, yep. in Japanese. But wow, they weren't even trying to hide that one. There are yeah. these are another. This is the trio. This is another. Gen five has two trios of legendary. This is one of its trio. Tornadus. Yeah, tornado, oh, like thunderous, like, and thunder god. Mm -hmm. And they all have alternate <laughs> forms. Uh, Tornadus here turns into a more bird-like shape, and if if you uh, get its special form. Oh, okay. Okay, I also I also am extremely partial to Super, Secret Agent Super Dragon as an MST3K episode. Just saying. Swellow. I much prefer... Let, yeah, Swellow should be fine against uh, St. Helen. Let's uh, bring St. Helen out. Yeah, Fujin, Raijin, and Inari is what they're based off of. So when you're watching MST3K, are you watching it primarily, or do you usually have something else going on in the background? Like I, I'm usually watching it primarily. Okay. Uh, I like doing Techno kitchen blast. stuff and baking to it. I think that that might yeah. be steel. This might be bad. Okay, no. Yeah, depending on the episode, sometimes it's really hard to just watch it like 
straight. Because yeah. sometimes I feel like I should be doing other things while I'm doing it. Even with them yeah. watching it, I can still get bored by the movies sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> the Mac and Me one was a little... Yeah. Had its yeah. moments where even they're like, well, this is boring. Mm -hmm. I haven't caught up on season two of the of like what they're calling the Gauntlet yet, so... Age yeah, we've only we've one. only watched the Mac and Me episode. No, the the Gauntlet is not any different than any other season. They're just pretending that they're doing them six in a row, but yeah. still right. two episodes. Exactly. Techno Blast is Genesex special move. Girl well, lovers lane say, with big stupid. I will say that when I had my Fool's Gold show, like I literally watched the MST3K version of the movie. If we did if if it was the same movie that MST3K did, just to make sure that I was not using the same jokes that MST3K used, mm, and then I would come up with smart. another joke in that in in that vein. If I copied the joke, but usually nine times out of ten, I never repeated jokes in the MST3K version. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I think there was like one time where I actually found a joke from the MST3K version that I made, and I was just like, "Fuck, what do I do?" <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not allowed to say that on the stream, am I? You're allowed. I'm not allowed. Oh, okay. Why are you not allowed? Because I don't. Because I like to maintain the mystique, even though I swear all the time in, on yeah, like, Twitter and I'm text. Sure I was going to say, every time you hang out with me, you, you're you swearing a lot. Oh, God, yes. I, I swear I've all the time off, off screen. But, but, but when I'm on screen, I like to maintain that mystique, and I want to maintain how I don't need to be funny. Uh, uh, by swear, you know, because some people rely on swearing for jokes. Next I year, you'll be the say... only person left on YouTube because of that. Pretty much. Okay, Saint okay, <laughs> Louis, I, I just want to say, though, the reason I swear is because I literally sat through Iron Fist Season 1 in an afternoon, and I hate myself. You're fine. <laughs> We don't have ice moves this time. You're a team. You're a team. Okay. Ghost Dragon. I'm sorry if sometimes I pronounce Pokemon names that I don't know, like the way that parents pronounce Pokemon, pr pronounce Pokemon names. You just like, mispronounced Pokemon while apologizing for mispronouncing Pokemon. That was the, I, I enjoyed that. Moment. You can always tell who had who was a parent who had children because yeah. when Pokemon was popular, because they'd always say Pokemans. Right. Right. Yes. I only say Pokemans to be ironically. <laughs> no, yeah, but like you can always tell like if like like a fifty or sixty year old person says it. You sure can, yes. Okay, good. Uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know, but my dad might be good at that kind of thing, but my dad got into the Pokemon Go spirit by like literally taping figuring out a way to tape our phones to a Roomba. Mm -hmm. And then letting the Roomba go around and hatch our eggs for us with us having to do absolutely nothing but watch TV. That's a good way to do it. You yeah. Won't. Yep. Burn it, burn it. Damn it. Uh oh. Get it, okay, Kevin. good. Lowered her special attack. Get the dice. I bought her too many toys. Now she has too many toys. Yep. Ours, we get them toys all the time, and they like boxes and bottle caps. Arrowhead, yeah. so there are multiple Satans in Pokemon. Arceus ice. dumb. Uh, you, I like your non-swearing policy. It is much more safe to watch in public. It is also very good to show it to other people. That's fair. That's definitely fair. Yeah, I I know, it's a good, it's a good her... policy. However, it's, you know, swearing is a crutch that I rely on, so. <laughs> Come on, yeah. burn it. Yeah. Yes, get, get good. Up. Don't you get like asked to do stuff that doesn't have? Yeah, because people will say they want to use my my videos in like classrooms and stuff, but they can't because of the swearing. I'm like, yeah, I'm not meant to be educational. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, so I got him a treat ball and some cat dice and like the noise balls that have the jingle bell in it. Um, mm -hmm. And like a little pad that she can crunch on uh, because she started playing with her litter box because she's only like a kitten. So she's right. at an age where she plays with her litter box and like takes poop out of the litter box because reasons. Um, so we got her a like a little like thing for her to put her paws on that feels like the litter box but is not. Um, cute. Yeah, and then uh, we got her a harness and a leash because I might be taking her to Vancouver with me in February when I go see Johnny. 
So, uh, because she's an emotional support kitten, so Southwest was like, all we need is, like, your vaccinations and a letter from your doctor saying how long you've been treated and why she's an emotional support animal. Fiery like, dance. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cloaked in flames, either dances and flaps its wings. I love this. So, okay. Uh, eruption is 150, 100. Lowers uses HP, though, so I think this is the one we should get rid of. Fair enough. Sorry, it doesn't lower it. Uh, the lower the user's HP, the less powerful the, the attack becomes. It's still, kind of, That's kind of unreliable if we've taken damage. And Sacred Fire is Ho-Oh's signature move, and I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, no. BM Gray, it is... I am Jess, there is Julie, and then there's Paluna and Dom, along with Lewis. We are the guests this evening. Hmm. Oh, good! Another legendary! Zekrom is, is Electric Zekrom. Dragon. Are you, are you okay. done? Ah. Okay, so we have had um, five different legendary in this particular stream. Yeah, yeah. they're trying. It's trying so desperately to kill to kill it. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, uh, that's, the innocent. Pokemon, that's the Pokemon that's the god of lives. You right? know what? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Alabama Dragon of Flies, right? Really that is, point. yeah, that's the that's the that's the box legendary for this game. Okay. You should name the Al, Al, Al You should name this Garatina went down to Unova. <laughs> I mean, that's an apt description. <laughs> Yo, crit, bolt tackle. We should resist this. It represents ideals. Oh, okay. It's, oh, it's the dragon of ideals. Yes. Lies. Okay, thank, thank you. What are you looking yeah, for? Yeah, it's truth versus ideals is, is the big question of this game. I don't know oh. what she did with the pink one. Low QS, this is the Dom's fault for killing your Sui Coon. <laughs> I already... Uh... <sighs> well, the good news is the game is, try, the is trying so desperately to fight against Dom's protective power by sending out so many legendaries at us. That's right. So I'm running back to heal. No, I think the pink one's in the bedroom. I don't know where it is. Wait, we can dig out, can't we? Yes, but we don't. Actually, I don't think anyone knows dig right now. Oh, oh, right. You're going back to the guy to get healed. Good. Yeah. This is what you get for picking on Chiratina. <laughs> Wingster 012, I am so proud of you as a look, person. Look. That's great. Giratina is the one that keeps attacking us. <laughs> I mean, that is definitely a fair fair thing to say. Arrow X, why is Team Plasma trying to get the Black Dragon even though one of their grunts has it? He's not a very yeah. smart grunt. He thinks he just thinks that it's a really weird bug. Yeah, he's like, I got Charizard. It's a shiny Charizard. Oh man, guys, take a look at my Dragonite. Yeah. It's really <laughs> weird. It's like an edgy Dragonite. Yeah. Oh my god, an edgy Dragonite. <laughs> Scope this sweet falafel. Is it just me or do Dragonites look like they have no idea what's going on and they're sort of fine with that? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 see, I do. I want to see like, St. Helen flap its wings. They're like the grimace of the Pokemon world. Yeah, that's definitely fair. A- except for uh, if you take out Slowbro, I guess. <laughs> the fiery dance. Dance. It's also not very effective, unfortunately, but it did raise our special attack, so. Our snail is dancing and flapping its wings. Rock slide, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we survived. Arrow X, no, he thinks it's Red Hot's Black Dragon. Do not oh, bring yeah. up Yu Gi Oh! during a Pokemon stream! Come on now! Bring up Yu Gi Oh! during a Pokemon stream! That, Red no, no! Black that, Dragon! That, that team crossover with Joey Wheeler in disguise. Po- Joey po- Pokemon oh, on motorcycles? Good. Another Zekrom! Oh my god, are you serious? Po- po- Pokemon on motorcycles? Oh boy. Uh, what is the statistical it. likelihood? Why do they need it? Why are they I don't know. Like, I didn't two of them are idiots that don't realize they have math. this thing? Is it... I'm guessing then he had two of the same Pokemon and then it just... Because they were supposed to be the same one, whatever was random first is the same one the second? Pretty much, yeah. That'd be my guess. African or European. 
Zekrom must have replaced Trubbish in the randomization. Oh god, that sucks though. That means like every grunt that has a Trubbish is now gonna have a Zekrom. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god, my child is hiding under DPM the entertainment center and only her tail is visible and it is the cutest thing I have ever seen. This is why I should have a cat forever. Dragonite, that's that's awesome. That that's that's great. It's great. Oh, it's great. It's great. You can do it. Everyone has dragons now. Okay, who are we yeah. sending out? Uh everyone's Bill, basically. <laughs> no, not Bill, it's in the lands. Okay, I'm keeping Booster Green out just because tank. So I'm gonna heal it real quick. Quick summon Dwing Dragon of Ra. <laughs> you, you get a dragon, you get a dragon, you get a dragon. Mysterio 001 N is looking for the white dragon in this game. Ah. Fair enough, but that, but, 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 blue eyes I'm supposed to get the Zekrom. Mm -hmm. So, like, is one of the grunts just gonna hand me their Zekrom? Of course it knows Ember, why wouldn't it? Because Dragonite can learn frickin' everything. And one hit. Thank you. Thank you, Episode Booster Green. Episode title, you get a legendary. You get a legendary. Everybody gets a legendary. Arrow X, you need a Lapras. Yeah, unfortunately, we didn't. We never encounter Lapras first on the route. It's fairly common otherwise. Yeah. Criminy. Andrew Pohl, you activated my trap card. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically enough, Richard Am does have blue eyes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put Booster Green up front because it's carrying us right now through this thing because everybody has Zekroms. Yeah. yeah. Almost through. Uh, I thought we were almost through Team Plasma. Maybe we're not. So there's at least two more. Charles Hockenberry, this is the last time I play a Pokemon game designed by Oprah. <laughs> Good, a Togepi. We can handle Togepi. Yeah, we can do the that. Shit judgment. I hope it has, like, metronome. <laughs> and something really weird happens. It turns um, itself into a fucking legendary. That'd be funny, though. Teddy Ursa. Everyone, yeah, this grunt must feel really terrible. Like, everyone yeah. else has Zekrom and, and, and Giratina. He has a teddy bear. Hey! There's nothing wrong with having cute Pokemon. There's nothing wrong with it, but he must, but like, everyone else has these super strong things. Mm -hmm. Got a point. They turn into powerful things, Team though. Plasma. Why is Team Plasma dressed as knights? Because they're honorable. Because they yeah, think they that they're, they're they think they're righteous. They think they're they think they're the good guys. So they don't call themselves like Team Chivalrous or anything. It's like having a really obnoxious paladin in your party, but it's yeah. Old. I mm -hmm. what I don't know is why they're called Team Plasma. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. It's like Plasma and Knight. I don't really see the connection. Yeah. That might be a translation thing. Maybe. Well, no, they mean uh, that's good. Hey, yeah, then why don't they just look like samurai? The Japanese game. Because this takes place not in the Japanese area. Oh, yeah. It takes yeah. place in America. Which is why they're dressed up as knights, because this is so fucking confusing. Yeah, because Americans have knights. Yep. I love this game, but there are a lot of things that don't make sense. <laughs> when everyone keeps claiming they're best friends of Pokemon, they still force them into death battles, so mm -hmm. there's that. Well, some of them are hypocrites, and some of them is some of them just think it's a necessary evil. So I didn't realize that it's almost ten o'clock, and like I'm an old lady, and ten o'clock is my bedtime. All right, then you have yourself a good night, Jess. Yeah, but it was fun. I totally enjoyed being on this stream for like an hour and a half, talking about Pokemans and Pokemans, oh, <laughs> Blue Eyes White Dragon, and my cat. And noodles. <laughs> Wing Zero Twelve, 12 you know what happens to cute Pokemon? They get wrecked. That's not <laughs> oh, true. Oh god, that's so messed up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Is that Bambi's dad? That means something that I didn't. Uh, Sawsbuck is, is the evolved form of uh -oh. Deerling. I know mm -hmm. that's the cat, so Bambi's the cat. Dad. You're welcome, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jess. Right, Hi. Have a good night. That move. 
Night, guys. Super effective. Let's kill this thing. Night, Jess. Oh, let's go back to beating the shit out of this deer. Yep. <laughs> EA number. When I first saw the design for Team Plasma and learned their team name, I thought they were a collection of evil welders. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> They're awesome. We can, we can evil send out blood donors. Against that. I like Bell Awesome. I think I like it better than Vile Plume. Yeah, these things are just oh. old, cute Pokemon. I I like Vile Plume a little better. I like how it's just like doesn't oh. care and is like slouchy and like I don't know. It's like it never woke up fully. I I'm up with that. I can relate. <laughs> you know what bugs me about Sun and Moon? Mm. That for a for a for a game that takes place in what is essentially Hawaii and has and and is called Sun and Moon. Bellasum is not is not anywhere to be found in the game. Neither mm -hmm. is Sol Rock or or Lunatone. Oh, yeah. okay. They're it's not in so there. It's so weird. I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon, man. <laughs> yeah, but like the one specific for those uh, for for you know, be like fitting for that area. I guess. Yeah. Now, it it, it, even in the style of like, I feel like that's something the Pokemon games would do. They just didn't uh, think of it, I guess. Mysterio yeah, no, 001. I, I see what you're for, sorry, go ahead. Nope, just agreeing with you. Mysterio 001, for being so helpful, Booster Green isn't even a real psychic. He's just using tricks and future technology to make people think he's psychic. Ah, I like it. Mm -hmm. That's that's lore for for our Nuzlocke. Nice. <laughs> He just, he, th that's why he, all of his moves are normal type. <laughs> he came from the future and has tricked everyone into thinking that he's a psychic, a, a grass type. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try to get us up uh, and out of the cave before we go explore down farther. Sounds good. Because I think we have a battle with N coming up here. Who? Hmm? Keep the green-haired green. guy with the hat. Oh, the one who talks really quick? Yep. Many different values mixed together and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. Oh, gosh. I wow. will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. The Kakash, do you have a dream of your own? What is our dream, guys? Um, and cakes. Bakery. I'm hearing mm -hmm. a lot of cooking. We are. We want to cook. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you have a dream. That's wonderful. I learned just what kind of dream you have in battle. <laughs> All right. He's You're had. Learn. He's had grass types. He's had dragon types. Let's see what he's got this time. Does he change his Pokemon every time? Every it's time we fought him, his type has changed. It looks like electric. Oh type no. Now. Okay. We're fine. Gross. And I'm jealous Shadow we don't have Pokemon that world, Edge Lord King. Ooh. Fusion Bolt, which is Zekrom's signature move. Fortunately, we resist it. Do you believe that Pokemon battles help us understand one another? Mm. I mean. It helps me learn how to fight other types. Yeah, I guess. Ba -da -da -da. Locuus, my dream is, is to use Pokemons and conquer the world. <laughs> sure. Oh good, another psychic move we can't use we can't use. Now, fortunately the other psychic moves we have, while they have limited hit points, they're they're much more powerful than confusion. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll skip confusion. Mary, so uh, um, just Mary. Let's send out Eldune. Kill it quickly. All right. Uh, poison jab. It's a very cute. I I really like this this evolution. Line. I love the oh, Mary line. So I want us to have a one. Pachirisu. 
know, eventually we're going to need someone really quickly, and our Pachirisu right now is inside of the, uh, and it knows Fusion Bolt, too. Of course it does. I want to hurt a little bit more, but not too bad. Our Pachirisu is currently in the daycare. Yeah. Uh. Day Raikou! Oh, good! <laughs> right. Okay, back to Booster Green, oh. not taking any chances with the legendaries. Alright, I will add that to the list. <sighs> oh, that's how you say its name? Okay. Raikou, Raikou, Raikou. Big cat thing. Big cat. It's, it's, uh, if it's the Japanese pronunciation, it'd be Ko. Alright. Keep using return. And crit. Go booster green. My friend's getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon battle is. So why did you send them against me? To teach you a lesson. <laughs> why? why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? Probably. Hey, You'll yeah. this shit. As if I could actually, he does in uh, uh, Black and White Two. There are spots in the game where you where if you've transferred data over from one of the previous games, you can see flashbacks to events oh. during this game, and you actually do see him in this cave releasing a bunch of his Pokemon. Huh. This huh. is so weird. <laughs> okay. As if I could pursue right. the truth, but something as meaningless as a battle. As if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Also, he does know that there's a release button on, on the computer, right? I guess. Yeah. Hello, QS. I found this weird-looking N. I found this weird-looking Jolteon. <laughs> <laughs> Nikagaj! Just a little further to Mistralton City. Oh, God. Bianca, you have good ears. God damn. I can't believe you heard Likagaj's voice from that far away. Really? We're, we're going to compliment her on that? Okay. Likagaj, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and think you can understand them like that. The very idea <laughs> of a... The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What yeah. do you have to say for yourself? Really? <laughs> oh my, it looks like you're not my biggest fan. Oh man, for some reason all my fire types keep dying when I encounter water. If only we had a, you know, a, a thing system to... or a category we could use. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Your opinion is understandable. Uh-huh. Uh, oh. Um, it man, she would it not happens to be different it. from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? Nope. You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Just gonna storm this, off. This guy needs to dial it down just a couple of notches. Well, I didn't expect him to change his mind right away. But I hope he'll spend a little more time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little bit more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps and learn more about them. Oh, bye. Andrew Ball, what is N? A Helix Conservative? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to go with Professor Juniper now because I'm her bodyguard. Yeah, and, and I don't know what the fuck that accent I'm doing is. I'm trying to pull us into the French theme, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how. Anyway, welcome to Mistleton City. We're going to heal up. We'll go back to the cave in a second because there's some areas we haven't explored yet. Get some items, fight some trainers. Is Dom still there? Yep. Okay, just making sure. No, he's here. <laughs> he's here. Look, look, I'm being careful here. No, I feel you. I mean, if you want people to stop making fun of you for killing our Pokemon, it's essential you be here. Yeah, no, yeah. Magic Steve, well, thing, who would make a better trainer? If they live, I'm equally buggered. <laughs> who would make a better trainer, Vince from ShamWow or the get free money from the government guy? Who would make a better trainer? 
Uh, what? Ah, uh, Vince from ShamWow. Because that guy can sell anything. So I, I imagine he would be a Magikarp salesman. Hard to say. Mysterio 001, N, you think I should let people think for themselves and form their own opinions like the li like living, feeling beings? Everyone. Yes! People aren't allowed to believe other things. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Scientist Orville. All right, uh, Julie, could you look up the levels of, uh, uh, what's her name? Mm -hmm. uh, Skyla's Pokemon. See what we need to get up to if we want to take on her gem, which we could do. We have another hour tonight. I'm looking it up now. Uh, At the very least, we can find out what, what uh, uh, her type is. Skyla, I'm imagining it's flying. It was flying originally. Well, I mean, yeah, I know we need to go in there and, and test what it is. Um, okay. Uh, the levels are 33, 33, 35. We could take that on. We are, we, we, now that we have Booster Green up to 37, yeah, everyone in good. this cave is bad for St. Helen. Mm, Antoinette should be fine. Our queen should be fine. She's got a grass move. Yes. Brine. And drink the Psyduck. <laughs> drink the Psyduck. Oh, Duck okay. soup. Mid, Mid Kitty, and is, is trying his best, guys. <laughs> Another crab hammer. There we go. Give me your life force so that I may live. Wall rain, which is ice water. Uh, Takayaki. Absorb his living flesh. <laughs> Aura sphere. God, it's so nice that ice is vulnerable to fighting. Mint Kinney goes on to say that uh, N is unlearning a lot of toxic beliefs. That is true. Mm. I don't think he was actually unlearning them, it's more he was dismissing. He will eventually. Maybe you should have named her Queen Mary instead of Antoinette. Yeah, but we were going on the French theme and... And, and, and Marie Antoinette is a French queen. Magnet. How does yeah. this thing work? Let's see, okay, we were already this way. So let's go down to the depths. Oh. Yeah. What's down this way? We have up front too. Oh, yeah. And yeah, Badger okay. Pride eighty nine. Forgive N for having an actual character arc, guys. I, I think it's just that we like We like making it, fun of it uh, of Yeah, of... we're making fun of him. He's just kind of ridiculous. Um I I kind of like I it seems like they're it's kinda of cool what they're doing with him. I'm not oh, quite good. sure. But like no, I don't think it's like bad or anything. Or it's like, you know, or hating on a villain for actually acting like a villain or anything. It's just... Okay, so it's the Dragon story Psychic is, is Latios, Latios and Latios' type? Um, I will get to that. Ah! Right. So many legendaries, why? Because they really want to test whether or not Dom is the reason everyone dies. It really Psychic wants drag. to kill us tonight. It really does. Yeah, Dragon Psychic, setting up Booster Cold. Mm -hmm. Booster Green, sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I was hoping we would be past all the all the, the legendary dragons and stuff. Right. 
But I mean, uh, if we if we survive after all of this, it will prove. Or no, I guess if we die, then it will. I don't know. <laughs> if they die, I'm innocent. If they live, I'm guilty. That's right. Either way, the team's not having a good day. Yeah. It's a rough day. Nor is Dom. It's a rough day, but we are doing the best we can. Yeah, we're we're doing a good job. We're working hard. Mind you, we're making we're, we are like power leveling Booster Green up 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 to be our strongest now. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. Who needs actual you know, stab moves when Booster Green just becomes more powerful than everything else? Dragonite too. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. It's, it's so great. I'm so happy. Why? <laughs> More Dragonite. I think, I think a crit killed the last one. Dragon Claw, I don't know how strong that is. Hurt, so I'm gonna it gets, keep healing up. We're not losing anyone tonight. He's not if I can help it. I think we were close to boxing Booster Green because we didn't think he'd be useful. We were. Another heal. To restock again after this cave. Okay. So nice that we have fly now. It makes things a lot faster. Yeah. And then I guess um, Mitt Kitty is saying that Charge Stone Cave is supposed to be pretty hellish even without a randomizer. I don't remember it being that bad, especially with super repels. Uh, okay. Chris Sanderson, when is the next history of pa question redacted t-shirts? I was talking about the history of Power Rangers t-shirts. They look awesome. Also, when's the next, next question redacted? Oh, come on. Well, uh, pre-order period should be over, so hopefully I haven't seen yet if uh, uh, it becomes a permanent item or not. I hope it does. Magic Steve 83, Dragonite looks like if Charmander screwed a Zubat. Well, that's a funny thing. Some people have theorized that Dragonite was supposed to be Charizard, and it's the other way around. Because the because if you base it off of the original red and green sprites, uh, Dragonite mm -hmm. looks looks closer to Charmander and and Charmeleon. Right. Yeah, I can see that. You know, then their artwork kind of changed over time as as you know Charizard you know started to resemble them more and more. Right. Maybe it's because like Dragonite was originally going to be Charmander's final evolution, but then they're like, oh wait, we gotta have a Pokemon to put on the box art. Mm. <laughs> Let's see, what are we doing? I need a heal. There's a uh, soda pop. There we go. Let's just heal everybody up. And another ace trainer here. Come on, fight me. Let's see what dragons you have. Yep. Oh, and you have a super chat. Uh, plot twist. The future from Booster Green came from is actually after Team Plasma destroyed the world. So we came to help us deal with dragons because he knew we were going, we were the key to changing destiny. Oh. You should actually... Oh, man. I am okay with, I am okay with that theory. Imagining Team Plasma taking over. Oh, that's actually... Pretty grim and creepy to think about. Yeah. I, I guess, yeah. Just because they are like Pokemon PETA. Hmm. Alright, Mega Drain. Oh, we're gonna bing down the bagels not... somehow. That makes me worried when he's nasty <laughs> plotting like that. Will you stop feeding a fed horse? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodile. Keep it in. Right, fully evolved form. Let's go for the stab. You are a fool, Crocodile. Behold the power of our queen. Yes. Booster Green is Cable. You know Antoinette had a head chopped off, right? Just someone with Yes. Looks Okay, just checking. Yep. But it won't it won't work that out this way. It can't. It has no neck. Yes. 
Beat the system. <laughs> All right. That's true. Fuck you, French Revolution. <laughs> you poor people. Jesus. Dark oh. Void. Oh, God. Oh, it's put it asleep. <laughs> Jiggly Saint, we have not lost anybody tonight. Yet. I mean, I was worried for a second there with Dark Void, but it, all it did was put us to sleep. Yep. I'm not taking any chances after that, so I'm switching over to Takayaki. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that, that did quite a bit. Yeah, I'm worried now. Uh, avoid the spikes. I'm sending out retweet instead. All right. All right. And... One triple kick should take this out. Mysterio yeah. 001, his future is so horrible because Team Plasma would have everyone release their legendaries, causing them to breed uncontrollably. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that was too close with our God Slayer. Uh-huh. All right. I, I'm going to step away for a second here. I'll be uh, back. Okay. Hold the fort. <laughs> Should be fine, because Julie's been around during the times when when, when people did die. Yo. <laughs> Where's the lemonade? Alrighty. Eldune, we'll get you up there. She's, uh... Wake Antoinette up to uh, Awakening. There we go. If only all of you Nova had one neck. Hmm. the potion. It's good. The time is 10.08 where I am. I don't know about you. Uh, 8.08. <laughs> Magic Steve, off topic, but Dom, your vids got me to uh, pick up Scott Pilgrim, so thanks for that. Loving the book so far. Awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. That's my, fa my favorite comment is, you talked me into reading the book. So. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim's awesome in most of its forms, even if it's not perfect. Hmm. Ah, Ninjas. This is this is what uh, uh, Shed Ninja is. The other, is this the other form that, that, that it could become? Ah, okay. Things terrifying with him, Jesus. I know it's uh based off. It, basically, it's 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 basically a cicada. Yeah, but like a cicada on like steroids. Well, with that's knives thing. for it's, hands. Its biggest stat <laughs> is its speed. It is super fast. Okay. I remember. Enjoy uh, your weird knife ninja bug. <laughs> in the randomizer for uh, Pokemon uh, 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 Leaf Green that they did, that Twitch Plays Pokemon did. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Koga's gym had a ninjask with like arrow blast, which was Lugia's uh, uh, signature move that kept kicking oh, their geez. ass. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Mid Kitty, are you guys psyched for Spider Verse this week? I have little interest in it, but I hear it's amazing. Really? I'm really looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> I just have zero interest in a lot of these these direct to video animated projects. I mean, I've watched a good chunk. And, I mean, this is going into theaters, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so, like, I'm always excited. Like, I've done, I've had to watch a bunch of those for videos and stuff, and some, some of them are surprisingly good. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Plus, one of my favorite comedians is doing the voice for Spider-Ham, and I'm very excited. Ah, uh, <laughs> John Mulaney? John Mulaney. Hey, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Yes. Thank you, and yeah. Yeah, Spider Verse looks really, really good. I would like to see uh, it. Uh, Mars Girl saw it, and she was very impressed. Apparently. Mm. Ooh. Like I said, everyone that I've heard from people say that it's supposed to be amazing. God bless them. I'm not trying to run into the, into the things. All right. So that's pretty much all the caves. So let's Ooh. heal up, buy some more stuff, and uh, see what we can find around here. Sounds good. I think we're in an area where we can climb up something now since it's winter. Oh. Ooh. Also, there's routes nearby. We can probably get some more friends. Fair yeah. enough. Get those friends. Or yeah, do you I... want to call it now before someone dies? I mean, <laughs> we could, but I am perfectly happy going on until 11, which is, you know, 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
I that works for me. Whatever you guys are up to. Let me I might need to skip out like half an hour before that, but <laughs> why? Why must you say these things? <laughs> As All a reminder, right. really? the last two streams, people died in the last ten minutes. <laughs> he hates our Poke children. I don't think he hates Pokemon, but he hates our Pokemon. I think that's... I feed off your tears. Is that so wrong? I mean, <laughs> Why well, you got a king Yes. Yeah, yes, yes I... No, no good balls here. At least uh, just uh, TMs for various moves. Uh, here we go. This is uh, Skyla and Professor Juniper's dad. Oh, hey, Likagash, right? Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 290 Pokemon, eh? Staggering! You've seen a Clink! You're becoming quite the trainer! Yes. Yeah, yeah, we saw a Clink Clang, too. That we didn't end well. Clink Clang. Yep, we became oh, friends. You also seem to have seen about 15 billion legendaries. We built How spawn. odd! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Excuse me, I'm a little excited and forgot my manners. My name is Juniper, too. Cedric Juniper. Ha! The professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. The gir that girl has told me a lot about you. Spocktopus's Garden. Hey, Lewis, how far are you in Let's Go Eevee? What are your thoughts on the game so far? I'm enjoying it. I'm only in Vermilion City, and I've taken a break because, you know, smash. <laughs> really makes my day to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Yay! Hey! Is that what? <laughs> some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you've already seen a form, you can check it with this and whatever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. There's also a hand warmer. <laughs> <laughs> and a cup holder. <laughs> yes. Professor, who's that trainer? Oh, I forgot my introductions. Skyla, this is a friend of my daughter's. The Kagaj is traveling around Unova to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. I mean, technically the Pokedex doesn't have anything to do with the gym, but okay. It doesn't, yeah. They know how these games work. That's right, Nikagash. <laughs> you should challenge this gym. If nothing else, this gym is really out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you, Skyla. Something comes again. I'll let you know. I'll. You'll see why it's like that in a bit. Oh, boy. Professor, my plane is a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. Unless the cargo is people. Oh, and you're talking as if places like Kanto and Sinnoh are right around the corner. Oh, Skyla, if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that, and that'd be a shame. Wow! Up yours, oh, dude! Wow. Yeah. Jesus! Whoa! Yes, yeah, that... Get away from that. Okay. And if your face, and if your face keeps making those moves, sir, it's gonna get a fist in it. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Heads up, Likagash. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to have you challenge the gym. But there's something I need to take care of first. Just now, I was flying the cargo plane. I saw something on top of the Celestial Tower. I'm sure that it's a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to sick look into this legendary. right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You can come along if you want. Oh, we will. We gotta catch some new friends. Yes, we do. Because if anyone does die tonight, we need some, we'll need we need some backup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, this is, uh, I think they will give me things here. Fresh, fresh vegetable. I remember last time I walked into someone's house and they gave me things. I mean, I had a gun. Mm. <laughs> 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 okay, you turn on the item finder, the dowsing machine. I know there's an item on the runway here. Oops. What's going on with the thingamaboo bulb on the right? Uh, that's a dowsing machine to find hidden items. Yep. Mm -hmm. You pokey kids. When I was back in my day, you just had to wander through the grass to your fat to find stuff. You sure did. You just had to constantly press A while playing the game. Mm-hmm. I'm glad the kids have a dowsing machine these days. <laughs> Max Ether. Okay, there's an item somewhere here that we're supposed to present them with, and they'll give us an HM or something like that. Uh, how long has it been snowing for? Is that, is that supposed to be snowing? Yep, because it's winter. Hmm. Are you running along a runway? Yep. Is that yeah. safe? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I mean, I am supposed to be like 13. I'm sure I'm fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's a, um, She has her Poke Trainer license. <laughs> Jesus. This is where you can plant berries. 
Nice. Yeah, I think maybe, the, maybe the item appears. Oh, there it is. Sky drop. Ooh. Put the sky on a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe you have to defeat the gym first, and then we'll find the item. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, in uh, Black and White 2, you use this airplane to get to another part of the country that you couldn't normally access. Oh. Huh. I never played Black and White 2. All right. We got Tallgrass here, too. So Ooh. we can potentially catch two Pokemon. Catch a friend. Uh, let's get Booster. Oh, Booster Green's so much stronger now. The problem with leveling them up so high, ugh, and everyone's like got really strong moves. Mm -hmm. Well, cut is still the best we got. Okay. All right. Oh, all righty, right away. Those are, I, interesting. Lyperd. Yep. Okay. It's pure dark. It's the cat of lies. So here's. Oh, cats of cats. So here's how it works. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, you know how there's usually like you know, uh, uh, you know, basic level Pokemon that like appear throughout the thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lipard is one of those. Except okay. it's, except it's kind of better than than like say the Pat Rat or whatever because this thing is pure dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to cut it and try not to kill it. I'm just gonna cut this cat just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And Lipar would get really annoying because usually like Team Plasma would be armed to the teeth with this damn thing. Ooh. Mysterio 001 is how about Likagash dances for the episode title if we don't have anyone die? Hmm. That it's an option. Sure. Uh, there aren't any episodes named like it's all Dom's fault or anything, is there? Oh, wait. Do we do one of those? We could have that. Dom's fault. All Dom's, Dom's fault, fault, too. There we go. Dom's fault of dominating. All right. Yeah. What are we naming our our female Lipard? Uh, it is the cruel Pokemon. Stealthily, it sneaks up on its target, striking from behind before its victim has a chance to react. This is another one for the Revengers, I guess. Is this male or female? Female. Um, galore. I get it. <laughs> I can do galore. James Bond. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> More Tina, uh, Woman uh, Cat, Cata, Cruella, Lee. Stepmother, Catra, Black Widow, Liefeld, McShane, Leopold, Loki. I like Galore. <laughs> oh, gotta put it in the right box. No. The other, I think we might have actually put something in the Revengers that wasn't supposed to be in there because we're supposed to have it in the regular box. <laughs> yeah, uh, Pseudo Widow was not supposed to be in the Revengers. Yeah, no. Gotta figure out who he is first. Mm hmm. So we can join the team. Right. <laughs> All right, so we still have a possibility of shaking grass, although all the grass we see right away is uh, uh, dark grass, which I don't think shakes. Okay. All right. Uh, also, trainers everywhere. Uh, let's see if we can get past and... Oh. Chris Anderson, D-Pep Hype. Wait, we're not doing that anymore. No, we're doing that still. It's just been a little while. We don't have any Dr. Just Pepper around here, though, right now. Oh, okay. well, but still, D, D Pep Hype is alive and well. Always. Oh, it's extra dark. tall grass, not dark grass. Oh, that's right, I forgot. There's like three or four different kinds of grass. I don't. I still don't think it shakes, though. I thought Galore was French, but it turns out it's Irish. Ooh. Trick Room. I like Starmie. That's a good Pokemon. Oh, Starmie would be great, because Starmie can learn frickin' everything, and it's got great stats. I'm Ooh. sorry. You should call it by its real name, Haya. Of course. Depep Hype is forever. Mm. Slowpoke. Let's get some levels uh... on other people. Let's get, uh... Let's be Psychic-type. Let's get Weak Retweet some levels. 
Buddy L is asking, does no one like RC Cola? Uh, it's been a while. I only know that from the bus of jokes in like movies and TV shows. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I, like, yeah. Cultural osmosis has not been kind to it. It's going to be bad that if might, we need to switch out. <laughs> that, that might tell us what we need to know about. Can't be that good then. I like Slowpoke. He looks just so happy to be here, but now he's not because we killed yep. him. Yeah. yeah. I, I really like Slowpoke. Like arms. That's pretty Toga, cute. Toga, pure water. Well, water rock, so Antoine actually would be good. That's what we could have gotten out of the fossil. Eventually, we're gonna have to teach someone surf. Teach? Oh yeah. How to surf? I think we got. I think we got Pokemon that can that can learn it. Mm-hmm. We got oh. a bear tick, which we failed the last time we tried to get a bear tick. <laughs> Youngster Parker. Okay. Ball. I'm worried about us getting friends real quick. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite and least favorite Mega? Uh, favorite is Amphor. Oh, good! We could have gotten Groudon. <laughs> uh, uh. Favorite is, is Mega Ampharos. Least favorite, uh, like I think oh, Sal, like Salamence or like Alakazam, like one of the ones that already was super powerful and didn't need, you know. Uh, uh, a legendary, and I'm I'm gonna try to run away. Oh, good! We can't run away. That that's awesome. Of course not. Oh, and can I'll we, write down. Who's on. No, because we already got our mon. Or our, our, our chance at a mon. It's pure ground. I think it might be ground fire too. Uh, Is his tail made of claws? No. Yes. No, I think it's pure ground, but I'll check. Oh, Good, Eldune can't even be switched out. That's great. We're gonna Eldune's gonna die. No, just do your best. We wait a second. This. Wait a second. Gastro acid can suppress its ability. Look, so that Lewis, might allow I'm not doing escape. this on purpose, but I gotta go pee. So you well, know, I'm not gonna move. Then you go pee. We need to talk about this. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you go pee. Go, go, man, go. Because because we need to talk about this because we have because we have a decision to make here. Grudon is, is pure ground. Primal Grudon is ground fire. Okay. Well, it's not going to be primal. Air okay. Salamence without the Mega is in uh, underused, sadly. Hmm. Okay. So here's the thing. If we use Gastro Acid, it should suppress its ability, which, which will allow us to escape or at least switch out. Mm-hmm. But... That does open us up for a move which he could use to kill us because poison type is weak to ground and ground is not effective against uh, uh, sorry and poison is not effective against ground. But right. we have a really super high attack stat and we're six levels higher of it, so we could try to attack it. Mm -hmm. Just Using. catch it and box it. We can't catch it. We're not allowed to. And even if we wanted to try, you know, just as a way of trying to keep ourselves alive, which we're not allowed to do anyway in a Nuzlocke, mm -hmm. uh, 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 it's a legendary. A Pokeball's not going to be enough. Fair enough. Um... If you attack it then, so you would use the acid that um, If we use Gastro Acid, tight. allow us to switch out or run away. Although running away is still not necessarily possible if we are... Uh, 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 you know, if we're not fast enough or something like that. Okay. Um, I Catch mean, it's get worth... No, Ace, you don't get it. We're not allowed to throw a ball at it at all. Yeah. Why don't, um, okay. And what would the move be that you would use to attack it with if we try that route? Poison Jab, which is our strongest move. Okay. Um... Also, let's just check in our items to see if we have anything. Like, I know it's not. No, I didn't use. Oh goddamn it! I, I hit the wrong button. Back. I'm back. I'm back. I hit the wrong button. Okay, air cutter. We're good. 
Okay. No, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I, I... What'd I miss? <laughs> well, fortunately, no one died. Fortunately, we didn't die there. I, we were going Woo. to check our items, and I accidentally hit hit the wrong button. Okay. Oh, dear. Arrowax, hey, I used one Pokeball on Satan, and it worked. Okay, yeah. do we have any items that could, we could like like a use to allow us to escape? Yeah. Cuz I don't I know we don't have like poke up a doll, but maybe we have some other version of that item. It's not looking like it. I mean, it looks like you took half his health. Yes, but that's only thanks to also hail and uh uh and poison. So does this guy have the ability to one-hit kill us, do you think? It's a legendary and it's ground type and poison is weak to ground and Eldune doesn't have great stats to begin with. Another hunt yeah. could kill, but if it uses Earthquake or something, we're, we're dead. Yeah. You're going to have to take a chance on it, I think. Just hit him with everything you got. The, the, like the other option it. we have, which we were discussing, Gastro Acid can suppress its ability, which would allow us to either switch out or run away, possibly. I'll go for that, then. We are faster than it, though. But, it would, but, but that's also a risk, because, uh, 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 because whatever its next move uh, is could kill us. Man, I, I, I'm not sure. We could just try to commit to it because, because regardless of whatever, you know what? I say I poison jab because attack. it because it's the best chance we have. If gastro acid, you know, if gastro acid hits, but it still attacks us with something that that that's powerful enough, it could kill us. Do it. Yeah. All and right. We could be wrong about how gastro acid would work. Poison jab it. Royal assassin. Give it the jab. Royal assassin. Kill. Oh. Hyper voice. Okay, good. Yes. We could oh, still don't, survive this. Don't, don't, don't. Crush it. There All right, one is. more poison jab. It's dead. We, we, we. Whew. Yeah. You see, you see what that's happens. Our, that's yeah. our guy. <laughs> that noodle. Okay. Thank you for coming back when you did, Tom. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I feel like maybe you guys are just a little nervous about it, but... Jeep yeah. says, we can okay. well, they, They've seen things. I guess. They've seen Pokemon die. We have. We've seen Pokemon die when they were strong. I'm using a Repel. Yeah, Repel. Like, you, just, you just Captain Kirk out of the Kobayashi Maru there. And then, and then I don't also, believe that in a no-win good... scenario. Linkara Bug point. is neutral to ground. No, it isn't. We we should try to get polka dolls or whatever else we can as well as just items in case the scenario happens again. Mm. If we can even get them in this game, I feel like they're not in later games. Did you trade your boulder for my Amolga? We do not have a boulder, I don't think. I don't know what. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? We should get. We should get polka doll or, or other smoke bomb items or something like that. Yeah, I get what you smoke mean. Smoke bomb. Yeah. I was just thinking, do they even still have those items in these games yes, anymore? They do. But yeah, good. Let's I'm get go, that. I'm going back to the uh, to heal up. Yes. Ooh, that could have been bad. Yep. Whoo, hell, dude. Lucked out of surviving that because because it did not use a single ground move against us. I wonder if it had any. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, it may not have. Now here's the thing. Uh, uh, we have, we get. We, there's probably still some shaking grass up ahead. Mm -hmm. And we have, and we have the celestial tower. We can also catch something in there. Right. So I'm gonna avoid right. trainer battles for a little bit until we can uh, catch some more friends. Yes. Okay. I think this is also the area where the legendaries uh, uh, would show up if we, like, you know, encountered them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We'd avoid that unless we dropped into the grass. Yeah. There's oh, God. Two. Triple battle. Triple? But there's only one dude. Oh, oh I see. I see. I'm, I was in the wrong window. Wait, that's just a thing? You just choose to go three on three? Yep. Triple battles and rotation battles were introduced this generation. 
You know, eventually it's just going to be like a six on six thing. It's going to be like a battle royale. Okay. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> uh, take out Heatmore. I think Heatmore has the highest stats. Bulldoze. Do we have anybody else? I didn't want to leave in Booster Green, but it's, it's but 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 Bulldoze will attack anything on the ground, and that, and that would not be bad considering the situation. Mm -hmm. And Booster Green would survive it, but you know I don't I don't like it being against you know the fire types, but it's a tank; it'll survive. Okay. It's like do what you can, kill everything. Oh, good! Flare Blitz! Oh, dear. Oh, God, that hurt! Oh, yeah. Come on, St. Helen! Kill them all! Yes. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> I was hoping for more! Not quite. Good news, it's lowered all their speeds! I'm gonna get Boost Green out of there. Mitt Kitty, <laughs> Snack is saved! King, Couch Potato, I, Mole of Machine. And Low QS, that was the perfect chance for a legendary trio. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been awful. And that would have been horrifying. But also sort of funny. A little. Okay, I'm going to bulldoze again, and I'm going to heal Booster Green. Because we should be fast enough now to, like, take them all out. Oh. Charles Hockenberry suggests, be a Jason and throw a Molotov cocktail. Portals! There we go. Thank you, retweet. Stop with the flare blitz, especially if you end up critting. Okay. Ace is suggesting, uh, Linkara, please do a Let's Play of a Pokemon mystery dungeon game. I will pay you to do so. Would uh, that kind of thing ever be something you would put on your Patreon? I don't know about it, necessarily on the Patreon, but I would, but, but, but I would be, I would not be against doing it because I okay. never played one of the. Uh, that was milk drink. I would not be against. <laughs> oh, I would not boy. be against doing a mystery dungeon game on the stream because otherwise I would not normally check it out. Right. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just kill this thing. Uh huh. I you want it to do. die. Mm hmm. I bet you do. So we're just gonna heal Booster Green again. He, he needed chances. a milk break. <laughs> Fire slug milk. <laughs> There we go. There you go. Woo! <laughs> Seriously, this game is trying to kill us. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and yet, my power is more greater than its. Apparently. Okay, I know and there's then, a house up uh, ahead that should heal us. I think it's this one right here. And then uh, Ace is going on to say that if you do play a Pokemon Dungeon game, they recommend Explorers of Sky. It is by far the best of the series. Hmm. So now you know. Oh, and uh, so gonna save Abe Bragg suggests it too. Criminy, yeah. that was scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ian number. I think there's, a, there's another route Eno. up ahead here. We can't go much farther than it because there's a cave up ahead. We go. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Oh. Nikagaj, this is your mom. How are you doing? This... Wow, you're already around seven. Does this mom send your money for you as well? What was that? <laughs> I don't think so. She does not hold on to our money. Arrow X, I also want you to stream Pokemon Insurgents. Yeah, yeah, you told me about it last week. We're probably going to go legit. We, the thing is, the next Pokemon game we play probably be another Nuzlocke at some point. I mean, right now, after we're done with White 8, we're probably going to do a Zelda game because I never played one before. Never yeah. played Zelda? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were cool. <laughs> <laughs> How are your Pokemon? You can't get that far off by yourself, you know. It's all thanks to your Pokemon. Don't forget to take care of your t take care of them. I'm trying, Mom. Yeah. Am I being too serious? Well, take care. Senior trainer, Mom, signing off. 
Okay, cool, mom. As a mom who knows how to use FaceTime, <laughs> that's that's legit funny. <laughs> Let's see. P.S. Xbox Classics. Dom, quit trying to kill everybody. <laughs> I'm saving everybody. Yeah, I'm really we're trying not... to kill them when I go to piss. We're in clear on 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 the limits of his powers. <laughs> so here's so the far, my pee breaks have not killed anyone. Someone around here is going to tell us about the legendary. Uh, uh, the other legendary trio, the one that had uh, tornadoes in it. Mm -hmm. so we're still on Route 7, right? We already checked out... Not that run. Yay! Playing a Zelda game! Route. I want to double-check what route we're on. I am excited for that. Um, let's see. And, and uh... I'll, just, I'll show you. Arrow X is saying, just get Breath of the Wild for the love of Helix. That one is good, but, like, it is really different from other Zelda games. It's I don't also know if super long. Yeah, that too. Like, I kind of feel like a, a different Zelda game would be better, a better choice for the stream. Yeah, would I you agree. Consider, would uh, you consider well, streaming any multiplayer games at some point? Uh, maybe. Let's see, because I think this might just be one route. Yeah, Twist Mountain, and there's no grass up here. And it's blocked off right now. Okay. And none of this grass shakes, I don't think. Oh, that was mis I did not mean to go in there. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Great. 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 Beautiful. I love it. This is fun. I'm having a great time. This is very fun. This oh. No. And it's so good. Yes. We can yes. do it. No. Well, we got we got You're a better a attacker trainer. this time, and we and, did it and once we, before, man. And we're totally immune to ground type moves, so. Mm -hmm. But oh, good, oh, good, it's so good. Why, why, why? Because it's funny. There we Holy go. shit, that was easier. <laughs> well, we don't have something that's weak to it. Hey, leveled up the bird. Mitt Kitty, you could play Okami, the best Zelda game. <laughs> Wants to learn Sky Drop, which we just got the TM for. User takes target sky and drops next turn. The target can't attack while in the sky. So it's kind of like fly, but it prevents them from attacking. Gotcha. I, li I prefer fly. I prefer them missing. I like fly. It's stronger, and it, and it makes them waste a power point. Yes. So I don't think that they're shaking versions of this grass. You know, why don't I just look up shaking grass? There are multiplayer Zelda titles. I've never heard of any. But I'm, I'm like, right there's that, there's that one with like, uh, uh, that's like a Swords. DS game, I think. Yeah. Okay, wrestling grass. Okay. See, there is a Pokeball over there. I can't remember if it's worth it though. He's going up and down that way. Damn it. That grass does shake, according to people. Okay. Four Swords Adventures for GameCube. Oh, okay. Throw! Fighting type. Oh, okay, and uh, to clarify, rustling grass does not occur in dark grass, but it does in long grass. Okay, this is I long think... grass. Yeah, because we had talked about rustling dark grass in the past. Mysterio zero one. one The game knows Dom is here. It's out for blood. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, throw. Okay. Try this again. Yeah, the problem is Fly only has like a 90 uh, accuracy, which is decent, but sometimes we will miss like when we shouldn't. Mm-hmm. There we go. Verizian! Oh, good! That's a legendary. Fantastic. I can't remember its type. I think it's fighting something. Verizion? Okay. Yeah, we are getting so many legendary in this one. I feel like we've gotten more in this episode than any other. <sighs> yeah, because I kind of have a border, like in my notes, and it looks like we have a lot more. Okay, like, grass fighting, nice. so we could keep retweet in. Okay. Alternatively, 
Antoinette is uh, uh, bug fighting, which would mean a uh, bug flying, which would, I think, four times resist both grass fighting and moves. fighting moves. Okay. You want to keep retweeting or switch over to Antoinette? Uh, actually, Antoinette sounds pretty good right now. All right. And she has full health. Yeah. So. And as it happens, I'm pretty sure Antoinette has a flying move. So, Drill Peck. Oh, you're trying to take root. That's not going to help. Now when we drill you out of the ground. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Mercy is not a word your Pokemon know. Nope. It isn't. Not when, they, when no one else is showing us any mercy. Yeah, no. Yo, X Scissor. X Scissor. Unfortunately, this guy's now blocking our way out of here, so let's just get the rustling grass. And now let's also switch back over to Booster Green. Healing Kara, Zekrom or Reshiram? I liked Zekrom more. Is Reshiram is the Pokemon of Truth then, right? Yes. I'm Dragon of Truth. Yep, it has. Uh, well, technically, I think it just. Uh, I think it just like alternates depending on which game you have. But but in this case, it's the White Dragon that's also Fire type. Okay. Zekrom looks pretty cool. Yeah, Zekrom looks pretty cool. Reshiram is okay, but I think Zekrom looks a little cooler. Yeah. Come on. Man, this girl's gonna have great cardio. <laughs> Supposed to rustle, right? Yeah, we can get rustle with this. I'm not seeing much evidence of that. Yeah, it's it said in Bulbapedia, but maybe it's just it's just not coming out. <laughs> Great, don't be good on. Oh, it's the... Burmy. Burmy. I'm going to run away from it. Is that dark grass? No, it's not. It's tall grass. Yeah, it's just tall grass. So what, I'm going to do a super yeah, repel just it. to avoid running into another Groudon. Sounds good. And the rustling grass will just automatically enter into a battle anyway, so... Are we sure it's not this grass? This is still slightly taller, but like, not like huge like that one is. It looks, right. it looks slightly discolored. Mm. Mm. Come on. Killing me, Smalls. Yeah. We want some new friends. Come on. All right. There's a chance we can actually catch that ground on. Oh, there we go. Yes. God bless it. Motherfucker, what the hell is that? Is that no. the moon from Zelda? No, it's Glalie. It's a pure ice type. Unfortunately, we didn't. We we. This is the grass right before the shaking grass. Mm. It's like Jason's mask became self-aware. Okay, now we've confirmed know, I can right? do it. I'll just pop a super repel next time it happens. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Glalie's pretty cool. It's it's a, it's a strong ice type, which which we can use an ice type. I I like its sinister look. I appreciate it. Mind you, I would prefer a fr a frost lass because uh, no, it is not dark ice. It is pure ice. It should be dark ice, but it is not. Yeah. Frostlass is go for an NPC. You keep doing. <laughs> and Frostlass is is a uh, ice ghost, which would also be cool. Yes. That means it would be immune to uh, uh, fighting type moves, which is what ice is weak against. Mm-hmm. Still in the shaking. Come on. Shook before. I know you can do it now. Shake, shake, shake your booty. Nope. 
Now the problem with it with the visual distortion here is that sometimes it looks like it's shaking when it's not. Yeah. Be our friend! I know there's lots of Groudons running around, but come on! <laughs> it's okay to come one, out! But he's like immortal. Hmm. That makes sense, actually. He keeps bouncing back. Yeah, he just doesn't This die. time I'll get those pedaling meddling. Oh things. crap! They've got a bird! <laughs> dark Ueki. Man, that's typist. He just has a mean looking face. He's not dark. We're saying that. He looks cool. We want him to be dark. Mm. Wing Zero uh, 12. Has anyone heard of the movie Anne and the Apocalypse? It's apparently a good zombie musical. I know it's coming out. I saw an ad for it on Facebook. I have not. I don't know any of zombies. It's boring. Okay. Who do we got? Victory a Bell! Victory Bell! Victory Bell. Okay. Another final form. We keep running into those two. Yeah. Do we need a grass type? Uh, not exactly. I mean, Booster Green is supposed to be grass type. Oh, and it knows Hyper Beam! Oh my god! Man, if we get killed by a victory bell after fighting all those fucking legendaries. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that was the case, we definitely want it on a team. Get Name it. Name it Ah uh, or E. And you go onto those as team, kill your predecessor. <laughs> and here's the problem, we got the hail going down, so it's uh, so it's gonna be slowly weakening. Right. Just keep throwing those balls. Yep. Kinda wish you got the Glalie to be honest. I yeah. mean it'd be cool, but we don't need the Glalie. I'm also gonna heal just in case it has something you know, unexpected like flamethrower or something. You need a dead ringer for the Avengers, though. You want to put uh, Victory Bell on the Revengers? Yeah, on the Revengers. Oh, oh no, I was talking about the Glalie, but honestly, we could put it on there. We don't have to, though. Hmm. We can wait for another Pokemon for that. Oh, no, Hyper I kind of want to call it Hyper Bell. Uh. Hyper Bell. I kind of like that. Come on, get in the ball. Get in the ball. Don't you want to be our friend? Ah. Keeps using laser beams. I don't think he wants to be our friend. Yeah. Victory beam could also be it, or laser bell. Yes. Piccolo. Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> God bless it. This victory bell does not want to go down. Not too bad. We we want a friend. We just ran a whole, but we just ran for a few minutes trying to get it. So it's so it so whether it likes it or not, it's part. It, it's coming with us. Yeah. Or it will we'll die the thanks to the snow. Asshole. I mean, yeah. Dylan Roy also suggests the name Liberty as in Liberty Size Bell. Strike. Yeah. Fortunately, we resist that, but uh, dang. <laughs> oh, Hyper Bell at Ballad, but with an E in there. Yeah. On the safe side, it's a kid crisping. Nike, goddess of victory. Nice. I was actually sure. going to say something like, uh, like Black Canary because it's screaming and yelling. There you go. I can dig that. <laughs> Bell in French is Cloach. What's Black Canary's real name again? Uh, Dinah. Dinah, thank you. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Come on, come on, dear. Ah! So oh, close. you son of a bitch. Yeah. Teradax 2000, good evening, Lewis. Who would have been a better Detective Pikachu, Danny DeVito or Sean Connery? Oh, God. Danny DeVito. DeVito. Oh. Sean Connery's dead, isn't he? He's like... Nope. Well, it's a... No, he's no, not, not, literally, not literally, but he's been out of the limelight for like 20 years now, hasn't he? Yeah, pretty much after uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, he pretty much retired from acting. That's right. There yeah. we go. There you go. Now Let's see what the mean. Pokedex has to say about it. All right. It pools in its mouth a fluid with a honey-like scent, which is really an acid that dissolves anything. Oh, oh. all right. Great. And what this one unsafe for children as well. <laughs> I wonder if it works just as good as uh, 
white vinegar at cleaning countertops. <laughs> Tree bell. Failure bell, man eater, or hollow notes. Counter. <laughs> Shoop de whoop, hyperbolic. Black canary in French is canary noir. Schlur. Vegeta bell. Ooh, Hi I don't new. hate that. Makoto. Honeydew. And you and Nike Goddess of Victory was one one that we kind of liked. Yeah, yeah, I still like that one. Uni solvent, acid <laughs> laser, acid laser, acid. Xenomorph. That's not a bad one. I, yeah, I don't hate that either. Um, that is. Let's see. Lazor, Sindel, Audrey empty three. Bag. <laughs> Audrey three. Audrey three. Give it the most terrible name of all, Dom. Hey. Um. <laughs> Taser face. Taser face. Heartburn. Pandora. Hmm. I like the fact that you use Hyperbeam on us a lot, so I am okay with, with Hyperbell. Call me about Hyperbell. Go for it. Call it Phaser. Hyperbell. Yes. Get out of the grass and go back and heal up. It's 1053. I don't think we can get into her gym. The heal's in that house, isn't it? That's right. I'm trying to think of something we could do before when the stream ends. Mm. Well, we, we do what? need to see what her type, uh, her ability is. That's true. Yeah, let's go check out. Let's go check out her ability. Yeah. You can also go to the uh, the 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 tower. Fair. Because the tower will give us one more Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Hi, I was behind. This is basically the Pokemon Tower. It's the graveyard. Gotcha. Unfortunately, we still have the Super Repel on, so... Yep, there we go. Okay. Normally, this is where you could get uh, uh, that candle Pokemon. I can't remember. Litwick? Yes. Ooh, a Bronzor! Uh -oh. oh, is it a be careful. Steel? That's right, it's Steel-type. Okay, we gotta be careful with this thing. Be very careful. You don't... <laughs> Alright, we'll just cut it. To... Oh god, that was more powerful than I expected. <laughs> Calm Mind? Uh, yes. it ups its defense. Okay. And it's special attack. That's alright, though. We're just gonna cut it. We're just gonna, like, slowly... No, we're just gonna cut it, it a little down. bit. Yeah, it is Steel Psychic. So this would not be a bad addition. We Especially since yeah. Steel types tend to work out really well for us. Mm -hmm. They keep dying, but they're really good. Okay, we got Oops. it down under red. Heavy slam. Hopefully no recoil. Okay. Yep, alright. Um, let's see. Ultra Ball. Uh, yeah, Bronzer should be easier to catch than, 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 than the uh, Victory Bell was. Yeah. We've got Zord, Scarrow. Bronzor is actually pretty good. Mm. There yeah. you go. So Gear Rex. Got it. It will turn into a bell. A bell, okay. There are so, researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. Hmm. Heavy Metal at Metal Gear Rex. Now we're saving Metal Gear Rex in case we encounter another uh, a clink or a, a clink or a clang or something like that. Right. Aegis, Bell Heavy, Davros. Quasimodo. Quasimodo, I would not be against that. It is also flinch. <laughs> Liberty, Metallica, Ding Dom. We could go Ding Dom because we have we did not have anyone <laughs> die the stream in honor of Dom. That, that there we fair. go. Finally honor Dom after dunking on him all night. I'm sorry, man. Welcome aboard Ding Dom. Oh, joy. It's in your honor, though. Yeah, well, plus he can, he can be here in future. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center to check out their abilities, and then we are done for the night, I think. And we lost okay. help, so I guess it all was my fault. Yes. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can fly now. I'm I'm dumb. 
save ourselves the 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 uh, uh, the task of trying to of trying to avoid trainers. Fair enough. Now I'm gonna feel really bad if Ding Dom goes the way of Balto. We I mean, are sad if anyone no. goes the way of Balto. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Samurai Tiger 19, title Justice Once Everyone Lives. I don't know if Aww. I want to. The thing is, I don't necessarily yeah. want to name it that because I don't want to give away the spoiler. Right. Exactly. All right. So Poison Point, which is, I think is a normal uh, ability for it. Contact with the Pokemon may poison the attacker. That That's makes pretty sense. good. Okay. Up special def attack, special defense. That's not bad. Yeah, you should check out and see if the ability randomizer was turned off or something. No, it definitely wasn't because because this bronze already has sticky hold, protects the Pokemon from item theft. Okay. EA number, type of this episode, justice once. I don't know what we'll, <laughs> what we'll name it. We, I might go with that. I might not. Yeah, heavy slam, call mine, psycho cut. So it's actually a pretty decent move set. Yeah, not not the best ability. Uh, uh stats are. We keep having Pokemon with the with, with 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 bad defense for stuff, considering it's supposed to be like its best you know attributes. Oh yeah, nineteen. Ah well, still this is pretty good. Uh, Teradex two thousand other specific characters who inspired the looks of Linkara, nineties kid, Aaron, Vice, etc. How many characters who designed by other people? Uh, Linkara was inspired by stuff I pulled out of my closet originally, then by you know various doctors, just like okay, what can I do here? 90s kid was something we threw together with the wissy wig shirt being very 90s, as was the orange backwards cap. Uh, Julie, you want to talk about Aaron's inspirations before we head out here? Sure thing. Um, Lewis told me to come up, like, have the pick out the costume for the character and just say, like, something a little bit fashionable. And at first I was like, well, shit, what am I going to do? And then I was like, wait a minute. What would a nerd think is fashionable? So I went looking for um, J-pop coats, and um, basically I found that coat online, and I was like, perfect. Um, yeah, and that's where, where her look came from. Red Dead Redemption. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Vice's look was inspired only partially by the Green Ranger, actually, with the she because I like the idea of the shield, but we... You know, obviously gave it its own unique thing, and I wanted to have a helmet to conceal his face. So those are the inspirations there. I know I wanted a green theme for him. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this has been Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. Nobody died. Thank you, Dom, for being on here. Thank you, Kaluna. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Dom. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, we will see you guys next Saturday. Uh, have a great rest of the evening.